101.1 Styles FM. Good night, good night, good night, morning or evening, wherever you are in the world tonight, we want to welcome you once more to Styles FM Radio. Of course, we know you've been listening throughout the days and throughout the weeks. And of course, earlier on, you heard from King Mitchell, after which you heard from DJ Mookie. So now we go into Real Talk. That's the show where that's up now, from now until 12 tonight, Real Talk with with Daddy Rude and yours truly, Lady Cleo. Of course, our engineering studio tonight is none other than the silent assassin, photographer, videographer, you name it, we've got it right here at Styles FM Radio. So stick and stay with us. Tell a friend to tell another friend that Real Talk is on. And of course, remember, we do have those social media pages that you can hook us up on. You can watch, you can listen. And we have those on the go numbers in the USA, UK, and uh, um, Canada. Yeah. <laughs> And, of course, we do have a local connection that you can contact us. That same local line, 876-453-1444, is where you can send your WhatsApp messages as well. Or your usual good old time SMS. All right? So... We'll share your views as we go throughout the show. If you are in another country, however, and you wish to call us from overseas, that number is 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. And we give you those on-the-go numbers in the United Kingdom, the U.S. of A., and Canada. And the USA on the go number is 712-832-2772. Hmm. Mike is running away from me. I wonder why. And the UK Cassidy, let him stay. He's going away. Hmm. Don't look at me like that, Daddy Rude. So in the UK, the on-the-go number is 033-0606-0944. That number change again? It look different, so. Okay. The UK on-the-go number is 033-0606-0944. And in Canada, where we have people like Carrie. Hey, Carrie, how you doing? Carrie Ropa, 644. Four seven nine five seven nine six three seven. That's six four seven nine five seven nine six three seven. So those are the on the go numbers, all right? And for our people who are always with us, live and in living colors on the social media pages, we do have our Instagram fans. You can follow us at Styles FM on Twitter. Tweet, tweet, tweet. You can um, check us out at Styles FM 961. And for Facebook, which you can see the Facebook Live feed tonight, check out Styles FM 96.1, <clears throat> sorry, and go to the fan page. And do remember that on YouTube, you can go see any show that you want to see, all right? So we post the shows afterwards on YouTube. So later on tonight, early this tomorrow morning, um, tomorrow in the day, you can go check out YouTube and you will see the show, Real Talk. Yeah, and that's a real talk. All right? And of course, big ups to our friends in Brooklyn and the Bronx. Of course, Brooklyn, it's a 91.3 FM. And in the Bronx, it's 102.9 FM. I said go? Yes. All right. All right. So we're here tonight and we're going to have a blast of a show as usual. And of course, we want to say welcome once again to all our avid listeners who are always with us. People like Marvin comes to mind. Who's like, yay, every week there is a real talk. He's rejoicing because he's glad to have the show up again for another week. Of course, it's our pleasure doing this with you and for you and to you. I enjoy doing this to you every week. I don't know about rude, but I do. 
<laughs> so Marvin, don't look at me like that, Daddy Rude. Sadie Desreen from Queens, New York, locked in already. Mama Sadie in York Castle, that's St. Anne. Yeah. Good up, good up, Mama Sadie. And 573, the name is, if, oh, it's Vanessa. Oh, Vanessa. All right. So we're going to lock that number to that name, that name to that number. All right. So, good night, good night, good night, everybody. Locking in already. Nice, nice, nice. I'm in a very, very tired. You have a tired mood? <laughs> I'm not thinking about my mood name, tired, but I'm creating that mood tonight. I'm so tired, it has become a mood. Yeah, I'm so beat. How about you? You like you can't sleep, my youth? Why? <laughs> one of them, one of them um, weak there, you no? Know? Yeah, I like your shirt. You like my shirt? The color of it is nice. Thank you very much. It's very pastel. I don't know what that means. Oh, I don't, Jesus. I don't like it. You don't like the color? I don't like the name. The word. name? Right, the word. It's pastel. Pistol. You couldn't say pistol. Pistol. Yeah. Why would you want me to say piss any at all? <laughs> <laughs> of course, he's branding, brandishing the shirt, Nassal, Nadio, Native, oh Jesus, Nadio, oh my God, I tell you, I'm sleeping people. Native, not Nadio. Entertainment. So. No, it's supposed to be Nassal, right? Right. Nassal. Native Entertainment. Stage. Oh God. Stage. Audio. Audio and lighting. Oh, wake up. Pinch me. Do not pinch me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling very low. I don't know. Hey. Yeah. So, how you been, brother? Um, I've been doing a lot of, you know. You look small. I look small. Your head looks smaller. I was told that I've... Like a peanut. I, I've lost the, the belly. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Let me see if it's real. <laughs> yeah, it looks real. You look small. You look smaller. Your head looks smaller. What happened? You been shrinking? I no, seriously, you I, look I, small. I, I, or maybe it's my eyes. You know, my maybe vision it's because is. Because I've I've been resting and I have less on my mind. Less on your mind, so yes. it's not so big tonight. Okay. No, 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 no. Does my head look smaller? Please say yes. It's okay. <laughs> it's I thought okay. you were gonna say it looks bigger. Knowing you, <laughs> I, I was listening for the worst, where? the worst comment. No, I said it's okay. Where's your um the hair that I like? The natural hair? Yes. It's under there. It's under there. Under there. I, I'm I, I'm just I'm just checking. You know, you crossed the mind before the before the show started. Just then. No, we bought that. That's not nice, man. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> it, it, it's for you know. I'm I'm thinking, and, and I don't know if any other listeners, especially especially the male listeners, would agree with me. Mm-hmm. That. But you're not such a nice person. Oh my goodness! You did not just tell up a lie on air about me. I'm just I'm just telling my thoughts, but I want to give a reason why I think that way. Let us hear the reason why you think I'm not nice. Because I am a very nice girl. Right, Cassidy? Uh, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Lord, step in the studio. Am I a nice girl or not, and Cassidy? You know, you know what's so ironic? Oh, he says I'm a nice girl. It, sure. It, you said something a while ago, and it's so ironic that what I'm going to say is about you... Not being? Uh, not being very um, <laughs> Lord-like. Lord like you, you have been um, blaspheming. I have. Yes. Lord, you know I'm not aware of this one, so forgive me. I I think that you. It's a good thing. I think you think. Have, Marvin agree? Oh have, no! Have, oh have, no! This is not good. Wrong. Can we ban Marvin from this from this show? Like <laughs> I, right now? I think you have done wrong. To the Clark, of, hold on, the hold on. God. Hold on. Clark says she took one sides. <laughs> <laughs> sides is more than one here. <laughs> Clark, that means I'm not going to accept that. Oh, boy. Um, I yes? Th I think you have done wrong by, by, by the will of God. Oh, by the will of God. Yes. Lord, have mercy. Um, mm -hmm. Because he has placed you on this earth as a beautiful woman. <laughs> and oh, God, here he comes. You have only... Only, only <laughs> bless this world with one child. Oh my God! That's why I'm in a nice. I think. I think. 
you want you, you're, more you're, you're, you want more children you're i think because you're gonna get a, get a god child right there remember so I many know we are doing more yeah. god children anyways yeah, i don't have a problem with that but, <laughs> but, but i think that you have done wrong by the will of god <laughs> because i think you're a place here to be fruitful bountiful and, and to multiply yeah, and multiply and i am only, multiplying i have many talents and and, and with only only one lovely daughter to show. Me up? What is this man? Why is this man setting me up, Lord? I am wondering <laughs> if what? If you are denying, <laughs> denying. <laughs> what is this? Any particular individual, <laughs> the ordained <laughs> right. <laughs> Why are you making this segment of the show about Lady Cleo? Yeah. The ordained right. But who says I can't have any more by the will of God? You know worry about the party because God <laughs> also made man who can make things happen. No worry. May you I just have one more. I can come down and move here. Come put it yes. by your doorstep in our basket. Remember me saying I love my wife for life and they pick me them. They pick me them. <laughs> Look. I know one. She move strong with the thing. Marvin, we gonna leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Listen. If we don't say clear, we don't can't say clear. Oh God. You know. You need to get. You need. You need to. Uh, clear what? Especially <laughs> another daughter. You know another I mean? daughter. Yeah, man. I think you're. And one I may have. To to provide us with beautiful offsprings. <laughs> you know, <laughs> sapiens, Homo sapiens. <laughs> Jesus, no, sir. Right? That's the only word I know in bio. Ooh, I mean, no, right? <laughs> <laughs> the time is now 9.30. Thank and God. And when we get back, oh, we'll Jesus. continue this discussion. <laughs> you can't get time, a The it, time so. is brought to us by VG Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Nissal Native Entertainment Stage Audio and Lighting. we we'll soon come back. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar for the best quality in sound reinforcement and backlining native audio we have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience so call us and we'll take care of your parties wedding receptions barbecues conferences and small stage shows crystal clear sound native audio our prices are the best Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native audio. We make your events audible. 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 Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876 518 2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 
native audio stage and lighting. Now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native audio stage and lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk with Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo on Stars FM. We go until 12 o'clock tonight. Yep. Yes, Rude. Yeah, so I pray the thing, my uh -huh. girl, and I feel like say, I move like a buckle stopper. <laughs> you move like a what? Buckle stopper. <laughs> How that go now? Buckle stopper, black juice. <laughs> Ah, Alex in Tampa. Yeah. Thank you, Alex. Alex in Tampa, Florida says, Guan, all it clear. Baby not wearing again. Bring kids in this world. You know it's dangerous. No, can't, ag can't agree, Alex, man. We can't agree, man. I really agree, talk man. that to you, Alex. Eh, no Alex, lie. believe you me, Alex. Right now, <laughs> if you're walking at the studio, and see lady clear, I want thing there for your mind. <laughs> Babies? Oh, yeah, ah. so, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, Alex, so, don't man. listen to me, yeah? Alex, Alex don't you listen me, to brother. <laughs> you know? Oh, boy. I like yes. If <laughs> him ever answer the boss, if him answer the boss, no, people, let me tell you now, straight up, yeah. me, I got to divorce Cassidy on my left hand. Oh, Lord. My left hand this year. I got to divorce him because... When me ask him question, him really readily answer me so quick, you know. But he didn't And the answer. moment, bossy. No, when he start, you know what he is, look back. When, when he ask a question, him start look at me first. <laughs> so me know says like, he won't answer yes, but then he look, look at clear, go clap him first or something. He not answer so quick well, anymore. Let me ask a question. Are you not open to the idea? Of having children? Of multiplying. Of course. Make it sound so big. No, this one's enough. Just say having children, have a, having a child. Okay. Multiply something like all five, six, ten. But yes, I'm open to the idea of bearing okay. fruit. All right, sound good, sound good, sound good. We no, 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 no work with that part, if you know. Deep. But may I give you... <laughs> what you know? May, may, may Limitations you, and timeline. May I give you ten weeks. Ten weeks? Ten weeks. That's like two and a half months. Yeah, ten weeks. Huh. Ten weeks to um, multiply. Ten weeks to come back with a positive <laughs> result. <laughs> I, deliverance, Lord. Can we move on to the other part of the show now, please? Yeah, Thank man. you. I, I, Good. I, Father Cass, <laughs> what was it like last week? Oh, boy. Um, he said, Father Cass, let me make him answer for us. Yeah, you know, I mean, what, what, what was it like last week to be... I need to clap you for leaving me alone, by the way. Yeah. Well, I was with Cassidy. No, no that's prestige. Both of y'all. No, that's prestige. Both prestige. of you. I'm going to clap and you, had a and I'm going to punch prestige. Prestige, and I had a discussion, and I said, prestige, remember, I did it three weeks nonstop. I'm this is me? Yes. Are you single? Yes. What, oh. three weeks, no impact? <laughs> Lord of mercy. <laughs> it must seem like three weeks. So, Cass, <laughs> so how was the one week with Cass compared to my three weeks? It was okay, you know. It was okay. Yes, he spoke when he wanted to. Yes. And when I asked a question, probably he was saying to him, maybe he was saying to himself, Lord, Jesus, leave me, leave me alone, Cleo, in his mind. But he answered my questions pretty much. Okay. And yeah. So, how was it, Cassidy? Yeah. It was good, he says. Marvin. Papa Jesus. What is Marvin say? Marvin is a bad boy, you know. Papa Jesus, me feel sorry for that man. Cause him probably have to go fight her for some of the food. <laughs> 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 knowing car, knowing her, she not gonna give it up without a fight. A fight. You don't know, Cleo. I ain't I ain't I ain't blocking. No traffic blocking around here. No. Not at all. <laughs> Marvin is trouble. I can tell Marvin is trouble. You remind me of a daddy rude. No, no. Problematic. No. Hmm. He's speaking from and his And you heart. know, I thought Marvin was a well-behaved, nice, decent boy. I really thought so, you know. You call a big one boy? 
<laughs> you call him big man boy? But now I know he is the opposite. He's been listening to you for too long. No. But here's my thing now. I, I, I'm asking you. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm begging you. To multiply? No, man. We live over the... Oh. Yes, so we, live over, we don't have a 10-week plan already. Okay. I hear right. you. Okay. Um, so, you know, I have somebody to talk to. I have, I have a number to call, you know. To, to call who? A doctor? Uh, so coincidental. <laughs> a doctor is, 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 is at your disposal. <laughs> what is wrong with this man? What did you eat tonight or drink? Soup. Chicken food soup. Any, any, any hairy product was in it? Absolutely not. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, Lord. I'm, I'm begging you for the opportunity to comment on a few of those um, um, questions of last week. Okay. Granted? Yes, sir. So, mm. in <clears throat> terms of... Mike. Mike, a Mm-hmm. In terms of, because um, cause last week, um, it was about true friends versus true love. Yes, yes, and, yes. Uh, one of the questions was about if you have a family member or friend that is very close to you. And it comes to a point where you realize that maybe you have a terminal, terminal illness. I mean, death is definite. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Um, would you allow your partner to... Mm. To engage or have a no objection to your partner uh, and that person being in an intimate relationship, you know, with your friend o- or your family member. Mm-mm. Can't work. Yeah, I mean, the person is single. Then could have seen. <laughs> and they could have grew. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but you're dead. You're, no, me not care. Yeah, but you dry up. Me you not, me not you, care. You're, you're, you're not I'm not agreeing to that. I mean, After I'm gone, I have no say in the matter, yes, but I ain't agreeing to that. No so, way. So you would not agree to it? No, no, but no. But if, if it happens, you'll turn in your grave? Yeah, man. Probably box them one at a time, too. <laughs> oh, what? Think <laughs> about it. What better way to know, Saboa? Or aunt them while they're in the bed together. What better way to know? Well, I know nothing. It would be a haunting experience. Mm. Like Tower of Terror. Mm. <laughs> Terror indeed. <laughs> the, but I'm not, um, I'm not sanctioning that one, though. Big and serious? No, nah. but I mean, think about you it. You would sanction that? Of course. Sanction it for yourself? Of course. Of course. Sounds like hell no. <laughs> no, but think about it. If me know a boy, a brethren, a, a member of my family, or so, a, a good art, good whatever, represent all the things that me uh, would I represent. And I got to grow my youth. But not think about that part there. Eh? And moms, what I think about? Oh. And what, what happened with moms? They were all on it, all on it, all hey. on it, all on it, all on it, all on it. Oh, please. Listen, if you get born, you prefer, prefer to get born from a stranger. Yeah. You prefer that? Yep. And the stranger, the stranger, I got hype on you and all of them something there. Stranger. For real? Boy, me nah, me deception nah, kills you. Nah, line up, boy. The deception of it kills so, you. Nah, so, can't so, work with the deception. Yes, you, you, you never have a girlfriend, a girlfriend, a girlfriend where female members of our family just hot, our friends, and you just wish. Eh, eh, that man, we are talking about that man. Mm-mm. So other sort of things said. If Do I, not laugh, Cassidy. If I should drop out now, you don't say I want to friend them. Do not mind. smile over there, Cassidy. You know? Because the friend don't know the things that are ready and oh, I'm to you, man. No, no. Hey. No, me You've been tell. lusting and sinning in your mind long time. I mean, I mean lust and sin are not new. Right? No. Nah. Mm? Do not lust after my friend. And my friend should not be lost after my people. But are you wrong to have friend? <laughs> Uh, Are you of the ad friend them? No, that not include me. No, not sanctioning that at all. If they get together after I'm gone, I have no control over that. That's up to them. You know, no problem with that. I mean, I know about it. But knowing that, hey, I'm even sick and boy, them get together. Nah, I, as I said last week, it's going to just make me go faster. Auntie Nikki is no mommy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh-uh. Rambo, pick up yourself. We see you locked <laughs> in. Good to <laughs> know. Teresa. Nah. Me not, me not say nothing wrong with that. Nah, can't work. 
But more I'm going to something a little bit more important. Mm -hmm. This <laughs> this um epidemic. Oh God. And the pandemonium that pandemonium it, is yeah, causing. causing my God. What is happening? Uh, it's crazy that this corona I, I hate to call the name by the way. You, you never have one car named Corona too. No, Carola. No, Jesus. man, you have a car named Corona. I don't have that car named Corona. Where you yeah, come man. from? You want bet? Corona. Well, I don't know. You want bet? I, I don't know. I'm not betting. All maybe right, maybe it know? was. <clears throat> maybe, maybe. I'm, I'm not sure, but. You want to you bet? No. Right? You're not about to bet. No, but I bet. Let's see you go win. Good night. Five six one, give us the name so we can add the name to the number, okay? Um, Corona virus, Corona virus, virus. Oh Jesus! Yeah. It's creating all kind of shockwaves across the world, man. People are panicking. People are true, true. Nervous. People are just. You know that. Um, what's the name of the area that it's in in, in China? Hu. Uh, no, no. Some other no. one. I don't know the name of the place. Oh Jesus! I, I try to even not even think about. It to be yeah. honest, but um, is it go on? Go, I don't remember the name of the place, but anyways, you know, it's affecting China, yeah, parts of China, and um, the quarantining and all of that. People are locked away, people are locked in, people are isolating themselves. It's just charming, charming, okay? It's, it's just frightening, even though we're in Jamaica, and remember, it's a communicable kind of disease, right? So it's full like. It is transmitted similar in similar ways to the flu, right. from what I've learned. So you know that people are just really, really frantic, and understandably so. And we let do me ask have... you something. Uh, I mean, I mean, I, mean, I understand, but we kind of want to cut past the wall. <coughs> Sorry. We want to try to see as, as as real as it can get. Mm. A long time them a long time people and them rat cat bat jankro. Mm. Um St. Thomas used to have all Mangos Festival and all of them sitting there. All of a sudden now the rat cat bat and the jankro them are kill off people. And having diseases that yeah. they say mute, which mutation. Part, which part which part the bat go? Bat when I'm mm. a link with bat. Mm. Which one the bat them go outside of the bat? Family. And, the, and go at uh, the bat family. I'm going to link with the dog family and come back into the bat family with <sighs> something. Oh, Lord. Mm. Right? What could have happened? Bat feed and fruits and all of those things. Mm. Bugs and them something there. And then now, the generation upon generation, them, 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 them um, Asian people here, yeah, and name them, and name them bat there. So them going to say, boy, the bat now, snake going to name the bat. And then no man I'm the snake. Me not get the part there. Mm. Right? Because mm. it is rather unfortunate that <coughs> we have a tendency for one to double with nature, double with the whole natural causes of things, natural way of things Operate. are to be. Yeah. Once you start to mess with your ecosystem, you are change. In a one day, you can change decades mm -hmm. or scores or a century of a life farm to come back to its natural state. Mm -hmm. Remember, we talk about this evolution business and everybody said, boy, I made this, I made that. But almost every two to three years, there's an epidemic, epidemic? of something yeah. new. What, what's happening? Right? <sighs> Ebola, but them say the coronavirus now is nothing new still, you know. This is just a new strain of the virus. Oh, God. Spanish me, flu? Me go look upon the, the <coughs> Lysol for myself and it did a human corona. Right? Okay. So, I don't know if you walk walk with a Lysol spray and spray it for everybody, you see. Right? Mm. And try to eliminate. I purge everybody. Oh, Jesus. So, like, no, oh, yeah, stiff. Cassidy, they go for the lights. And that moving spray, in uh, purge <coughs> right? comes to mind. Right. And I, I said to next, right? Oh, Movies. 
movies for decades now have been talking about quarantine. Mm -hmm. And how some people, um, night after living dead, the dawn after living dead, mm -hmm. all them something, how, how people are walking and bend up Michael Jackson and Triller. Mm -hmm. Hello. Oi. Hi, good night, Charmy. Yeah, man, them never think when you're a mangoes festival one time and, 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 and you kind of get no, banned, you know? No, some of them, no. Oh, yeah, say, man. <coughs> yeah, man, you know, dip mangoes and a little bit of sauce, man, and, 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 and deal with that, man. Jesus. Mangoes is like a rat. I know that, I'm used to me. Mm. Man, used to me. I sit, listen, I try, I ex, I don't know, no animal then, yeah, man, no, sit, and I experiment with people, them, I try, and they experiment, now, work all the while, then do it, and then go try it on the insect, them, and then, then go yam the insect, and then catch it. It's just like when the next one, when, when come from Africa, they kill Ebola. Ebola. I, 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 I experiment, then try, and then, then go inject the mangoes, and the little boy, give the mangoes, they apply, they apply, and so you catch it, I just saw so it go. It's just, every day, they might try more experiment, we kill off the nation, and then try per animal, and then mankind go near the animal, and also make it spread. Mm. I don't know, animal have the disease like that. I, Experiment, then keep trying. Every time they try another experiment, then try upon the animal them first. Then mankind go eat the animal and also it has spread to the wider nation. Oh boy. Real thing. Yeah, that's where I go. That's where I go. Very interesting and view there, Charm. Yes, that's how it is. And that's how we go. Then try an experiment and every time they try an experiment, then try upon the animal. And when they try upon the animal, no man can go eat. Because what happened with the Ebola, I know, it was like the monkey. They try the experiment, pan and the little boy go give the mon bite the apple where the monkey eat. And as for it, when start spread the whole place with it. Mm. So just like China, now they have all sorts of insects. So they try the experiment and then try it on some animal. And then the people then start it. So it just start to spread. Oh my. Sad though, don't yeah, it? So so what what do you think should happen though with, to the or Jamaicans who are in China? How do you think the government should try to get them out of there? Why what should they, they do? Need, they need to try to do something to remove them from the because trust me, the Jamaican people can't get no no strength with them up to anything as um whether they there's in these then catch um sick so mm. they need to do something to get them out speedy because so get them out the, and quarantine right. them. Get them out and quarantine right. them here in the island for right. a while. A lot of flights cancel from here, not going to China. A lot of flights not coming from China here, they cancel them from today. Oh. American Airlines cancel, Delta cancel, and two more airlines cancel, not going to China. Mm. And then um, them not send no flight there. So oh. uh, we are almost a case already. I trust you are protecting yourself as best you can. Practicing the proper then, uh, hygiene. Can I tell you? Yeah. I was near future of a in public sitting there every day. And boy, oh, may boy. I tell you. All right, but Charming. It is. It is but we just got to pray and keep faith because, boy, this one just looks really awful. Can I tell you? It yeah. Is, it is. All right, Charm. So. Keep it locked. All right. Then. All right, my darling. Um. <clears throat> Wow. Patrice in Monique Gardens, I believe that's St. Anne, says it was stated in the, in the news that the coronavirus is much worse than the Spanish flu. Sounds like this is going to be a global epidemic, guys. It already probably is. But here, Considered. here my thing now, H1N1. Uh -huh. um, what are the next one? Uh, hepatitis A, hepatitis is B. B. Um, Zars. Oh, I forgot uh, about that one. Aye. And um, the, the, basically the list goes on. Mm -hmm. So much, so much of them come up, and you understand now. Say them having a some lab where them have a number of bacteria or viruses where them create and want to experiment with. Mm -hmm. So, like what Chama said, them inject. The monkey business there. Uh, but at the same time, they say with AIDS. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, too, the monkey, the, the monkey, them say can live with the HIV virus or the AIDS virus. But 
the monkey now dead. Wow. So something all right there, sir. Hello, caller on the no 954. We're not prime yet. Mm -hmm. Good night. Is it Dan Dan on, online? Ah, my dear, how you do? I'm not bad. How are you? I am fine. Great to know. You're not scared, are you? Huh? You, have one, you have one with him, swine flu. Yes, yeah, swine flu. Are you scared, scared of this corona epidemic? Um, first of all, I'm going to drink beer. <laughs> so, I'm not afraid of that. There is a beer called <laughs> Corona, <okay>. yeah. <laughs> Boss, one yeah, kind of no, no name Corona to bridge you. Dan Dan. That's what you asked me. That's what you asked me if I'm scared. Yes, I'm asking you if you're afraid of this uh, coronavirus that you hear has been widespread or spreading widely and killing off no. people. No, no. And what makes you so calm? You know, um, the Bible, you see, in it, in it, it says over a hundred times. Yes. Fear not or be not be afraid. Yes. All right. But yet mankind, uh, mankind keep getting that business of trying to spread fear. Uh -huh. And, and, uh, well, <laughs> this, this virus thing that's going around, or, or, I don't know if it's going around, but. You know, it's, it, it's part of the fulfillment of, of what mankind set out to do, to spread fear, because in spreading fear, they, the people are spreading fear, they have something to benefit because they, they have some, something to sell. Oh. All right, so... So you're if, saying... If so you're, you're alluding to the fact that the possibility exists that all these diseases that come about from time to time and become pandemic and epidemics, it's because the persons who drank to drive fear have what it takes to have what they want to sell. And that's the only way to get it sold, right? That's part of it. Okay. That's part of it. But, but look here, um, a, calm, a calm world don't seem to benefit uh, a lot of people. Um, the money bags people. Okay. There's always something have to have to come up. Yeah. Some you excitement, know. right? Um, yeah. It could be that this that this um this coronavirus thing. It could be something just as um as deadly as the common flu. Yes. But then a lot a, a lot of people, a lot of people who um who are, what, what should I say now? Um, all right, a lot of people are, are, are anti-vaccine, um, all right? Mm -hmm. And as such, them do, they, they don't take, um, like, like, you know, like in America here, like the flu vaccine, mm -hmm. they're always trying to, to, to get people to, every year to, to get the flu vaccine. Every right. year. I, I know people get the flu vaccine every year yes. and then get the flu. <laughs> and you they know, get the flu still. Yeah, ninety percent of the people who mean would um, get the flu vaccine every year, then get then get the flu that year every year. Oh wow! All right, so, so it could be that well, okay, the regular flu vaccine, you know, and not scare people again. So maybe they need to come up with something. Something else. Scary. Oh wow! You know, that is one. All right. Secondly, secondly, this kind of virus has never been identified in people before. Mm. That's what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Which kind of suggests then, if it's not if it's not ever been found before ever in anybody, this, this must be something that just, that's, that was just newly created. Ex my my point exactly. That's where my thought was all along. And it's probably new. It is newly created. It, it, it has been some lab. And, and then, for them to be able to tell you readily. Um, how it operates in terms of oh you have the symptoms for. Um, you can have the symptoms for X amount of time and it's not obvious, you know, or you have the virus and you don't even know you have the virus and it takes up to eight weeks to detect. It's just, it, it just seems all too fabricated to me. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. And thirdly, thirdly, you talk about the SARS and H1N1. Um, Ebola. The, the common... Yeah, the, the common thread is that it, it this thing keep keep originating in 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 China or Chinese territories. Yeah. Hmm. Why or the continent of Africa. 
you know, is, is, could this be part of the, of, the world, of the world power struggle between China and America? U.S.? Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Questions that make you go, hmm. Yes, yes, they are. <laughs> no, I don't, I, don't, I don't pretend to have any of the answers. You know? Me neither. Hmm. I, I'll, I'll, also, I'll also remind you of a movie come out in about, about 10 years ago, a movie called Contagion. Contagion? Yes, Contagion. Lawrence Fishburne was, was one of the doctors. Uh-huh. Um, Gwyneth Paltrow was in it. it you know, I must look for that one. I don't remember a, seeing it. The, the premise of the movie, the premise of the movie was about uh, something similar to this, originating with somebody coming from Hong Kong and then, mm. you know, them coming to America and spread it, and spread it all over. Contagent or contagious? Contagion. C-O-N-T-A-G-I. O-N. Oh, Contagion. Okay, I'll look yeah. for it. Yeah. All right, so it, could this be a case of life imitating art? Hmm. Light imitating? Life. Life imitating art. Because oh. the movie is art. Yes. Usually, usually art imitates life. Yes. Now it is life, in, life is imitating art. Yeah. Hmm. Chew on these words. Yes, we shall. I see a, I see a bri- I see a break time coming up. The, all right, sir. Keep it locked. Interesting. Uh, let's see what the WhatsApp connections are saying. How they patent corona disease and no one going prison. Hmm. Toyota Corona. Toyota Corona, no? Yes. <laughs> Is it Corona? Yes. I don't remember seeing that one, though. Corona Daddy Road. Let me see that message there, please. Hmm. Hmm. Oh boy, too much, too much. But food for thought there. Ron Ranzo in Florida said, Oh Lord, he's showing us a Toyota Corona. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, Ranzo, thank yeah. you. The wind bet. Looks like a Nissan. Still Toyota Corona. Okay. All I right, let's see who else is there quickly. Cassidy on the WhatsApp connection before we go up on the 10 o'clock break. The monkey dead, but it takes a long time to kill them. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, th- that can't stop. Let's see quickly. Who else quickly? Um, and, of course, Patrice and Monique said, big up. Ozzy, please, Mario, right beside me, locked in as well. Nice to have the couples locked in. Pick up yourself, Mario and Patrice. And with big that, up, we up, go to the 10 o'clock break, guys. It's now 10 o'clock, and the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Nessal. Stick around. we soon come back with much more. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at at 893-2266. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, you know? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience.
experience the three C's. Comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtilla Supercenter and Hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtillasupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital team. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Come, Styles FM. <laughs> digital T. Our brain. Uh-huh. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily Necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles of Fit. Welcome wow. back to Real Talk, guys. Good to have you on board, Diana. We see you over there in Canada. You're cold, don't it? Well, yes, right. Annette in Duck and Feel. Good to have you on board as well. Um, Diana, Diana says, Diana or Diana, I'm not sure which one it Diana. is. Diana. Could be Diana as well. It's Diana. Could be Diana as well. I'm sure it's D- Diana Ross. Diana Ross could have been also the name. Dirty Diana. Uh, <laughs> Dirty Diana. Uh, right. uh, uh-huh. Sound a little bad still. I went into I a Chinese. Understand, understand what Michael Jackson is saying though. I just couldn't. Oh Lord. He's fixing it up. My cousin about to fix it up. I went. Doing? I don't know. I went into a Chinese vicinity today, and I wear my mask, not taking any chances. Boy, Diana. Diana, 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 you're brave, bad. What are you trying to? Because unless the I and I have to go into that territory, I ain't going, sister. I'm not lying. I ain't going. Coward man keeps sound, 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 bone. I need a pair of mask. The mask won't really help, though. Big and serious. Whoa. See? That rude, right, Diana. I didn't say it wasn't Diana. I said it could have been Diana. Somebody's might call in, call Listen, themselves Diana. You know what? You, you need to, you need to evolve. I more evo- evolution. I love that way. I want no now. longer a classroom <laughs> English teacher. You're no principal. <gasps> Will you stop reminding me? <laughs> <laughs> Manton in yes, I'm Kelowna, hello. Canada. Oh, hello, caller on Sean. air, Chami. Yeah, yes, I'm here again. We yes, ma'am. About the full shot. A real talk. Yes. I have the food for eight years. And um, because of my job, I have to do the physical and do the flu shot. And like two days after me tell the flu shot, <laughs> I get food. Yeah, so I tell them, oh, gosh. I tell them, I'm not taking it again. Even the other day, I do the physical and they want me to do it and see them. So then I say, well, me not go work be, not, if me not, because I'm not doing it. Because even the doctor where they give you tell you, say, it's a virus they're putting in your system. Oh, Jesus. It's a virus. Mm. 90% of who you talk to, anytime they get the flu shot, you're sick after getting it. Oh, mm. wow. So it got to be a virus then they give you, yeah. Mm-mm. So I'm going to take it from that. About what, four years now, I'm going to take it. I'm going to tell them I'm going to take it. If I make me have to go work certain places, I'm going to work there. Because certain places, then you can't work there unless you have it. Mm-hmm. Right, so wow. even when I go in school the other year, they might tell me, I say, listen, if you know one sign off and give me a certificate, you never keep it coming and do no more flu shots. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, no. Uh. The, the doctor finally signed the paper, and I do it, and if, yeah, I don't do no more. I do it twice, and two times I do it after I take it, like two days after I catch the flu, so I mm-hmm. don't want it again. Oh, Lord. Mm. Real so talk. Yeah, but it was for true. Yes. Real talk, chap. <laughs> Real talk. All right. All so. right, darling. And ch- when chance is not, I'm not, you know. You know nah, what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. You ever so, drink coffee and rum it? I don't even do rum. I can't even smell rum. I smell rum and I go drunk. Like, seriously. <laughs> I'm afraid of the rum. 
So I don't advise anybody to go rum. Don't go, don't go down rum lane at all. Annette, bless up yourself, sweetie. Yeah, good to know you're locked in, all right? Oh, hmm. but back to this, um, this disease, this disease business. Yeah. This virus, regular people. The, mm. uh, all right, put it this way. Is flu-like symptoms, right? So they say? The symptoms of... Um, what the mosquito one him? Um, the mosquito now? Dengue. Dengue. Mm-hmm. Is it flu-like symptom? That's what they say. They know you know where you got. <laughs> and funny enough, they say uh-huh. you can have it and not even know so you have it and when transmit it the same way. When you have... Can you imagine that? Flu... Dengue, H1N1, mm. all kind of stuff, they all are flu-like symptoms. Mm. How do you know what you got? How do you know what you have? It's a very good question. I mean, it's going to probably just have it and stay there. Just want to quarantine you somewhere until you, God forbid, you just pass out. Listen, Move on to the next place. Yes, it is. All right. Do you believe... And may I throw this out to you in a rhetorical way. Mm-hmm. Do you really believe that Jamaica is prepared? No, I don't believe they are. We are. But, but, but we are and, also and you're told. About prepared. We're also told by the powers that be that we are ready. Jamaican, sometimes we have a way of giving some false impression of ourselves, you know. You know, that's what I think. Sometimes we do. Because it's not here. Well, no cases have been suspected um, as be, of being here. Thank God. And I'm not going to say as yet. There was one. There was one suspected case. No, it was suspected. Yes. But then we the learned person. that there was never a case that was here. The person um, came from China a couple of weeks ago, and I guess then the whole flu, whatever, and then assume that the person has the the virus. Mm. No, and they had them quarantined. I, I really don't um, believe that yes, because, that, because but... you're coming from China, you have it. But then you have to take precautions, don't you? You have to take precautions. So but I, I can China understand have, that. China have um, um, billions of what they call of people. Yeah. Right? Now, out of the billion, how much people sick? How many said they die? Like, like 200, 100 and something. 200, 200 and something, I think I heard. But dead from what? They're saying it's the same virus. All right. And then the area, no, them have um, the area of China that is that is being affected. Right. There are Jamaicans there. More people, more people than Jamaica than what's in Jamaica um, live in that area. Yeah, man. But what may I say? Well, if if out of the billions of them have, how many persons on an annual basis catch the regular flu virus? Uh, remember them say also say that more people die flu, from the flu than anything else r- r- so r- remember they also say that flu keeps what do you call it morphing mm-hmm. if I have a flu you have flu and I see that you see those two viruses combined together form a different flu oh, Jesus. where either we can catch you didn't know that? no never heard that one unless we never pay attention in a bio class <laughs> which is more than likely <laughs> the case but that's what they say but may I look at it and I say, boy, when will these scientists stop doing crap just to get a noble prize? Hmm. You don't know that a lot of these persons are noble prize hunters. They want to say, boy, them do whatever and win the Nobel, whatever prize they want him. Hmm. You see me? So... I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I never know. But one thing, one thing I really do believe is that we are not prepared to deal with any such. They're going to create a so. quarantine area. Little fine. More. Little more. Mm-hmm. Fine. 
but there's a there's a there's a hospital in Montego Bay that we could even find what caused the people and for sick mm -hmm. Much in less. the building. To date, it can't open back. Mm -hmm. Big building we mm -hmm. won't paint for a long time. Went up on hill. And it can't open back. In the, in the second city. And you're gonna make me feel convinced that um we are we are prepared. No, sir. Earthquake. I don't think so. Oh Jesus. Did you shake? I did not shake a thing. What? I didn't feel a thing. I was in my office. That's I bad. was speaking You didn't feel a to, thing? I didn't feel a thing. Oh, not Lord. a thing. I was in the office and I was speaking with my assistant. Your nerves working? And she didn't feel anything. I didn't feel anything. Another teacher, I think, was there and didn't feel a thing. And there was another teacher who came across and said, Miss, did you feel that? I said, felt what? I said, I didn't feel anything. Feel what, ma'am? She said, an earthquake. I said, uh-uh. And she said the kids in her class felt it. Mm -mm. And it was the kids who were, you know, they were telling her. And lo and behold, in a few minutes of going on the internet to check this out, we saw it was a seven point something. And I was yes. like, what? That's a huge no. shake there. In terms of, you yes, know, of on the Richter I, scale, I, I, that I'm measurement major, is... Major, major earthquake. Yes, and mm -hmm. then SMR. we learned that it was like two in the one day. One must be two no. shook the same day. Mm, yes. Not, not here. There's an not not here, right. but... And then by the following day, a, yeah, five it was felt again in Hanover side five again. Five point something. Five point something, Yeah. yeah. I was. On, I heard it was the first one was underwater. I don't know how true that is, but I yeah, heard it was right. an underwater one. Right. And had it been on top of the earth, well, had it been more you on. You saw the photos, like what happened. Oh Cayman? goodness! Oh, and, and the videos yeah, that that like water, water reservoir right, thing right, was just. Tank. Oh my! The tank was yeah. just shaking. Did you hear the Jamaican language where the guy used? Oh yeah, <laughs> very decorative. <laughs> it, it's 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 um crazy. It, it's crazy and it makes me wonder could it be apart from it being yes it's a natural disaster but some of the effects of man-made activities that are now creating and causing things like climate change uh, what could, could that, that, girl? I that have man, a I lot know, something man. to do with it no 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 I don't temperatures see. global warming no you don't think so at all no no, no. so okay you talk about evolution. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> All the time. Now, I know that these plates under the earth can move. Right. Yeah, and can shake. Right. But then... Does it not have nothing to do with that? None at all? No. I don't agree with you. None at all. I don't agree with you. So, okay, you're just saying there's a natural... Um, the natural... No, it's spiritual. Heat. Hold on, man. The natural... Heat underground. Not, not that. No, I have nothing to do with it. And it gets the temperature gets so hot that no, it causes the it. Te tectonic plates to move. No, and that, that's that's all it is. Yeah, the thing. What if it move, move. But what is causing it to move to that point so rapidly where it creates? Modern day Gomorrah. <laughs> Saddam. Oh boy. Then you don't know that too. I wish it had shaken the gunmen off the face of the earth. Like, oh, it was a Jamaica. Just well, open, no. then, put a then, hole then, 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 and in the ground man. and just that shake them down in the well, hole. No, the wicked things were going on the oh, earth. Are purging. The, 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 the swine flow and the grind flow where the man in my mech. Oh, Jesus. Right? We have a caller online. The Corona and the Corolla where they my mech. Leave Corolla alone. I and like that. that. It have to do with. Dan, Dan, hello. <laughs> The fit and the CRV so, them. Oh Jesus! So, that road, you know, you know, you know, fees are because are because I'm walking up back um, poor royal to visitors. Why? The earthquake, <laughs> brother. Well, the, uh, everything, well, the <laughs> everything involved. Maybe it's because Seeing? they've given, they've done that to Port Royal and not to Portland. Brother, brother the man, they, yeah, the, the man, the man, they done, they done this trial, so the. 
probably some sign above us said, boy, look here. I better watch myself. It was already oh, an attraction the way it was. I don't know why they think they need to do anything dan, dan. more to it. The pit of them where the man them are kill off. A part of it. Oh, God, a man. purging. Oh, God, man. Purging, oh, my brother. But, and the woman that they're killing. killing. Yeah, purging. The but, man but, where but, bite but, off but, a rat head, them and name them raw. And the fat leg, I have on my phone, who wants to see it? No, I don't want to see that. Don't see one with the no, 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 no. Dan, Dan, uh, you see that one, the, the man named about a dozen fat leg. Jamaica? Pick them up off of the ground and name them. Jamaica? No. Oh, Jesus. One Asian, brother. Why? Wow. You know, see, okay, Cassidy? No, the man named fast no. leg like fast leg. A chicken leg. Know. A, a foul leg. Mm. <sighs> yes. Come on, but she was clear. Yes. Earthquake, earthquake, how does it happen? You know, remember, I know, Jamaica's not fast. It, 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 it's every day, you know. What I'm called? Like a fault that runs across the Caribbean from. Uh, all right. From yes. Like, from that, like it came in and go across all the way to Puerto Rico. Dan, Dan. Yes. Yeah. What, what, I, what I was told. Um, sometime it was last year that actually or factually at least three to five earthquakes are experienced in Jamaica every single day. It's day. just right. Okay. It, yeah, it, it pick up and fill with whatever scale you want him. A Richter scale, Richter or, scale or something. A Rita or some scale. Richter. Okay. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so you know it, it, they are just not large enough for persons to feel what it, it, it the, the earth move on a daily basis. We are the fault lines. This yeah, I, 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 look, all right, look, the big one in the region was about 10, 15 years ago, was it Haiti? Yeah. All right, Haiti is not that far from Jamaica, you know, but it's at 200 miles from Jamaica, you know. Mm-hmm. And. And when it comes to earthquake, 200 miles is, is not that long enough because that, that far enough. Because, okay, it, it was still in the grill and it was still in Kingston. From the from grill to Kingston, it was on that 40 miles. Yes. And that's mm-hmm. one earthquake. Wow. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's not such a strange phenomenon. I mean, the, the, the first time you experienced earthquake um, in a Jamaica, I, I, I wouldn't. We up a baptism one day, I play, I play domino and, and a game done half a sudden, we just the domino and start shuffling themselves. You know, but, but I'm not good here, nobody never run because I never think so good. Uh-huh. But, but the point is, this thing, these things happen um, quite frequently than, than it's, it's like how you, you never, you never know, know about the earthquake when they're going. Mm-hmm. You know, that's how a, a lot of times earthquake can happen and, and, and have maybe three quarters of people don't, don't know what's, what's going on. Yeah. True. And and then somebody might say, somebody like that would might say, wait, how are that? You feel that? No, no, and no, 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 me not feel nothing. Nothing can't, no, no, me not go to feel nothing, brother. No. Oh, boy. <laughs> I, I learned that there was a worker, no, though. No, shake it, me not feel. <laughs> <laughs> I, as it relates to this earthquake, um, I, I don't think, I think, well, I don't think Jamaicans, and I'm speaking generally now, that many Jamaicans take things like these very seriously and understand that you need to practice those precautionary measures right. that you have been given. You know, when they do the drills in the workplace or the schools or the home, you need to take them seriously. We have a way of saying, oh, nothing now happened, nothing now go on, really and truly. We need to stop that. Because who would have thought, right. who would have expected this? Clear. Nobody. So, so a question to you now, Cleo. Yes. Um, where, you were, where you were that day, Monday or Tuesday, whatever it is. I was did, in my office, actually. Did the chil- did, were the children put through, uh, put through like, like the drills? Were, did they go through that? Or, we, or we, we have done the drills before. Yeah, we have prior done the drills. To... But real, yeah, but there was a real case scenario. No? There was a but real case yes, scenario. Yes, that's what I'm saying did, to you now. No one... To be honest, I didn't feel it, and I didn't realize that one was yeah. happening. But yeah. when it's afterwards that the teacher said to me, Miss, did you feel that? And I said, no. It, it all happened so quickly, because where we are, I don't mm-hmm. think... I, I, the fact I didn't feel it, I would have thought that it wasn't very big. Because normally, yeah. I've, I've felt more than one before. But not yeah. feeling anything i thought it was just a tremor and i thought the children were just probably you know saying something it was when i said no man let me go and check and i actually saw where it was now on news bulletin and stuff that yes one really occurred 
So everything happened all oh so fast. And it's really just a case now for us to say, the moment you feel and hear, or not even hear, like feel it, you got to do what you've been trained to do because we have trained our kids. We have so practiced then, so it. Then, the, yes. So then, the, the drills that would, that, that would have gone through before, um, obviously we're, these drills were, were not carried out in, the, in this event. So, so, so the drills then could, would be tantamount to a waste of time then? No, you know, no, I wouldn't say that. I yeah, would not know. I would I not but, say that. But, but, but the school never got never, but you know, the drilling place. There, there are schools that did, though, in Jamaica. Many schools did. Because, for one, oh. teach field, I know. all When I, one of my peer, teachers got a call from her child to say all the students, because they probably felt it real badly. And, and they have, mm. a, they have a, board, a main building, which is a board structure. And okay. She said that every single child was out on the field, in the field, the teachers and everybody were out. In Kingston, I know that there are some business places you could see people moving into open spaces. You saw video clips of people moving out of the work environment in droves, going, going to open spaces. So it was carried out. What, what they practiced, the drills they practiced. I don't know how successful it was on a scale of 1 to 10. But from what I saw in the, in the videos, I didn't see any stampeding or anything like that. So, you know, it seemed to have gone fairly well. And the, the schools that evacuated the children that came out, eventually yeah. after they, I guess, you know, everything seemed back to normal, so to speak, then they were, I know that, I think the schools dismissed a little bit earlier. Because they didn't want to probably well, send is, them back into the something. buildings. But it happened. The drills, the real-life scenario, people responded accordingly to it. Many, be, many mm. persons did. Well, I, I would have I would liked you something from, from, from Mr. Speed pertaining, pertaining to this. Yes. Because, um, well, you know, you've you got, you got to come in the, the whole um, aspect of the drill and thing and the pre prepare, preparedness. Uh, uh, and but now the, yes. the follow-up would be um, from Mr. Speed and his people, then you know how many people actually, I mean, how many institutions actually put it in place? Yes. You know, because um, this this is this is how you, this is how you measure the efficacy of things. Yes. You know, rather than us, than us, okay, it passed and it got move on to the next one. Yes, true. You know true. And let's not take it for granted that, oh, we had an earthquake, 7.4 or whatever. And it's oh, excited at the moment. And afterwards, yeah, yeah. we're like, so, okay, back to normality. Yeah, so, right. So, so you need to measure the, 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 the preparedness, was, the preparedness was, was successful. Yes. You know. Yes. And, 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 and to follow up, but that is what about, about, about what we prepared. Come on now. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, if America can't um, themselves. Aren't prepared for um, for this thing? Oh, 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 oh Jamaica got um, be be prepared. I don't know. Our ministers love to pat themselves on the shoulders. I don't know. You know, uh, all them can do is 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 put in place a, a quarantine area. They have that so now, you know. If, 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 if that's what if that is what preparedness is. Well, I guess they I guess. are. But Madan prepared. <laughs> what 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 I don't know is is how protected. Are the persons exactly. who are supposed to exactly um, first the, the first people who are Administer to come in contact contact with these people with yeah. these people yeah. or the mm. suspects at the airport mm. you know how protected are we remember you know it is believed that this this virus is 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 in more countries than just China Canada United States you name it they are they right. um they, they have um. Records of persons there. Now, when you, when you ban flights to China alone, right? And a man fly down from United States or fly down from um, Canada, oh, yeah. UK, right? And you say, boy, him just have little sniffles because they place a cola and a time at out. Mm. Mm. Is it that we're going to deal with this thing yeah? The way all the man them deal with the Arab man, them, the Arabic youth, them. Right? I make it look like a boy, I them alone, I deal with I, I deal with terrorism business and we're gonna make it look like a boy, are they are the Asian people and once you got Asian country and, mm -hmm. and, you're, and you're gonna get um the, the, the whole discrimination yeah. against them people. Eh? Something else something else something else to this thing, brother. 
who we well, who, who ever really quarantine from, 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 from your of the look of an Asian? Eh? That the road. The bigger question you need to ask is the the, the volume of people that, that that's coming here. You know, I mean, do you have the resources to actually check everybody? Exactly. None at all. Um, we can't because, find. But, but and like, like what remember Bridget. too that they could also have this flu or this disease or virus, whatever. Oh, well, and you yeah, don't is. know, and they don't know that right. they actually have it, and you see no symptoms. Right. Right. So right. I which, don't know. Which, 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 which again, gonna... which, which, which again point, points to the whole scare factor. Yeah. You know, because you know, forty years ago, the, the big thing was the was the was the the, the, um, the AIDS virus, right? And many people were, were walking around with the AIDS virus, and still and still walk on the AIDS, AIDS virus, mm -hmm. and, and 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 don't catch it. Yep. You know, so. You know, and and has as H one H N one or whatever it is, uh, SARS are, are those things all conquered? Hmm. You know, can, is it that they can't ever come back, or you know, could could this be an, another name for you know, then the ones the SARS come back or are them things that come back? Mm -hmm. You know, put give it another name. Possibly. Tough questions. Uh, uh, for real partner. talk. Real talk. Mm. All right. All yeah, right, man. my dear. Um, 718, send us the name, please. Looks like Kevin in Tampa, Florida. I'm not sure. The coronavirus reminds me of the movie Outbreak. And that name, I think I saw that one or somewhere a long time ago, though. Um, 876504 says, it's like we are living in the movies, movie days. It's like Resident, Resident Evil and Matrix. Matrix. Oh, Lord. Hmm. But you see, right now, it's like, you have to, just, you see, you have to just pretty much sit down and wait in oh, on gosh. The, the, yeah. the next one. Yeah. What's going to be next? What's going to be next? Right now, all me see it, you know, me really start to contemplate becoming a, a vegan. I don't know what eat. Um, um, vegetables. Vegetables. You know, you are, you are vegan, you are vegetarian, two different things. I'm going to look it up because mm -hmm. right now more and more. Because I get a message, I get a video the other day. I, I, it's a pity I can't find it anymore. Where them said chicken pretty much is worse than anything else. Oh, Jesus. Chicken Ooh, and what turkey. Do we, what do we eat? Turkey? I ten, like ten, turkey. Then 30 ladies and gentlemen, we're so forward. We're jumping at the, the box time is here. brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Nessal sponsors Real Talk. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Ladies and gentlemen, Changi has turned it up loud in your ears, waking you up out of your bed every Saturday morning with a jump start from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. The jump start with more music continuously all morning long with your host Changi Styles FM number one. DIB Home Center treats you to its second annual Ladies' Night Out, Portland's most pleasurable shopping experience. Get discounts on select items, so shop and save. Friday, February 14, Valentine's Day at 11 West Palm Avenue, Portland, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. After your purchase, unwind with massages, facials, eyebrow grooming, and complimentary wine and appetizers. This Valentine's Day, let D.I.B. pamper you, because D.I.B., we do it best. 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 Planning a party? Club night out? 
stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event, let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. Styles FM 96.1. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Yep, good to go. You know, one of the other things where happened in the past week is this Kobe Bryant tragedy. You know, this Kobe Bryant tragedy is, is so mysterious. There's a lot of conspiracy theories surrounding the brethren passing from as early as 20, 17. what, 12, they have been 17. predicting, no, 2012. Mm. They have been, they have, there's cartoons about it mm. from them long time there. Um, I've seen another one where a brethren as, as, as recent as the last day and the last minute of 2019 predicting the death of Kobe Bryant. Right? So mm. there's so much... Things I, I, I say Omar now with, with, with his video, you know, kind of like listen to him, but him arrogant, so I'm way, boy. I mean, I tell everybody that tone down a little bit, do mm. right? Where him, you know, pretty much coming up with some, some theories of persons that who him think are responsible for the death of Kobe Bryant. I've um, seen those videos, but him. <laughs> Apparently, if what Omar is saying, Kobe was really doing some serious move shaking investment from a business standpoint, some major stuff. And if you didn't get you with those major stuff, a lot of industries would have been hurt. You know, I mean, it, it, it's, it's sad if these things are true and they're all um, cons- conspiracy theories, mm. but. You know, even nowadays, in your own mm. surrounding, as soon as a man at, at make certain moves, oh, yes. you know. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know, whole of accusation is, 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 oh, is, is and it's the negative things right, that the negative there's. Stuff. And nobody's saying, oh, my, yes, man, this man will work hard, hard right. and deserves yeah, to be at this place. Is, is, it's is all it a, about is it a, a drugs. Yeah, 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 yeah a, a drugs, drugs a you, TV, I, I, a TV. I, 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 I fish. Uh, yeah, true. Right? That is where people narrow down success to. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. pathetic. Scamming, drugs, you're gay. Are no, you, or you're selling to get it. Well, I mean, normally, I, 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 I the chichi business, them say, no. Yeah, but for the women, for the women, one, one, they one give it to us, us too, because you got, you got to be doing, no, going man, to back road at night time. No, man, you don't have an asset, man. I want to tell you, man. man. You don't have an asset. Yes, but it's not, it we use. <laughs> Good night, hey. Scholar. Welcome to Real Talk. Let's try the night, too. Hi, Donald. How are you, my dear? Yeah. General. I, I am good. I just didn't you know, want things to uh, Oh, you're back. Come on, the guy having a rough time with this high and low blood pressure thing. But oh. I oh. take it time and I work itself out, you know? Yes, yes. Hey. When America unleashes on the rest of the world, we're afraid to talk. We're afraid to say. America is or America is not. Mm-hmm. This virus has been around for more than 20 odd years. Lysol was made to counteract this virus. Yes. Nobody said anything about it because it was not affecting that much people. Now, China is wanting to take over the rest of the world. They're, they're going at it. 
Mm-hmm. They're going at it real hard. So which one of the countries they think to hit hard with another virus? Which <laughs> one of the countries they think you should go after with another virus? You understand? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that is conspiracy theory. Mm-hmm. Whether you want to look at it, yes or no. Then take the earthquake again. <laughs> when I say earthquake, natural disaster, yes, but that's about the drilling over the course of Puerto Rico that was happening within that time that could have rocked the, the, the core of this earth because they were drilling so hard mm-hmm. that it could have pushed a, a movement of the falls mm-hmm. that Jamaica, Cuba, and Cayman Islands. Cayman Islands. Cayman Islands. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You need to look at them realities, the man. Most of the things that we have created on earth. Yeah, man exactly, man made activities. And man, I create them and man, I make them look like them. Enough of them things are not come from God in a man. So God never come to me to destroy this earth, you know. And be and, and against all of the teachings where I'm going to preach to you about hell and heaven and all of them things that God never come to destroy this earth. This earth, you know, this one, the man I'm to you about the Bible. I have a man that can refer to you. It's two years ago. Mm. John was preaching in Patmos two years, 200 years, 2,000 years ago. Peter was jumping down some, some something and I prayed the Lord 2,000 years ago. And then they talked about last year. Tell us <laughs> some of the good things we done the last year. Uh, you understand? Uh, Tell us some of the things we done yesterday. Yes. You see me? We done the next week where, where we can preempt and say next week it might be done. Yes. You see all the bad things that I'm at you, man, not got some man. Then again, you see, my guy come out with the whole Kobe Bryant thing. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah, the, 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 he used such a word again, Illuminati. <laughs> and, and the white supremacy and the whole aspect of a black man. You understand? Mm-hmm. You can watch the videos of them. Look for enough of the videos of them where you see have come out. Where you see for messenger and all of them things there. Where white police are shoot black people. He mm. took the little girl and by the time she fight him off, boom, 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 and she dead. He took the man inside and she had to fight him off, boom, 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 in bed. And nothing not come out of them things there, no man. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So when you look on the world where we live in, we have to start to open our eyes, we have to start to read mm. some more, we have to start to look at all the things around me that is being affected some more. This virus is in China, they about a long, long time. And you Chinese people and I'm right back to long time. <laughs> and then I'm snake. Long, oh, time. long time. And I'm do all the way them I do. Long time. It's just that we never used to practice them thing there. My girlfriend tell me our best friend, I'm um lizard. Mm-hmm. Come to the dad and I'm like, me, I'm lizard, iguana in I'm pot. And all of them things that we in a Jamaica and our culture them something. You understand? So yeah. when you have to make virus look like a food, then when you have to talk about food now, go back to the energy thing report number 1972, when they sent to the CIA, when they sent to all of the agents of them in America, the only way you get rid of certain people is through the food. Mm. So use the food to kill our people. No matter use gunshot no more, you know. Mm-hmm. Just use the food. That's why GMO foods and all of them foods that come out. People need to read and understand. You understand? That's why they send fertilizer, they send certain something come from the Jamaica to mush up the soil. Mm. To mush up the soil. You have round up. You have all manner of something. Like when you spray the fire, you can't spray something in a soil and expect it. The chill was going there and it's not chill was going there. <laughs> huh? Mm. It's a chill was there, but it's not a chill was going there after it's chill was there. Mm. Yeah, man. The man, the man going out know, some whole heap of things. I remember, you know, American Charles aliens, you know. Remember that, you know. Mm. We are aliens. You get an alien child when you go yeah. in that state. Yes. After five years, it's a state of five years, you can change it to become a naturalized citizen. But them consider the rest of the world an alien. You understand? Yeah. And then three, Bob and say, America, America, everybody. Yes, all of us want to go to America because America is a land of opportunity. You understand? Where you can go to America, no matter what you do, and you're not America, you come back, you're rich. But look on the deeper concept of what America stands for. You understand? When you go in Africa, you, know, you have countries, you have countries in Africa where them cities much, much, much prettier than them cities in America, you know? Mm-hmm. You have countries in Europe where them standard are living much, much better than America. 
people that work less than 40 hours work week and I make twice the amount of money. Wow. But because we always I say America, America, America. I'm a love America. I'm not because I'm a love America. Mm -hmm. But we love America, but America is doing some things to this earth where people need to start talking about it. Remember mm -hmm. I'm tell you, big up real talk. Real no talk. Plug. Real respect, talk, respect, Donald. Respect, big respect. up yourself every yeah. time. Thank you. Always has some sound advice there and food for thought. And of course, we go to the. We have a recording. Yeah, more on cast the um, play this. This 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 um audio audio because it's important for we listen to this thing. Uh, we know we have a vox pop, but so much things happening around this world we can't ignore them. Believe you me, we can't ignore them, ladies and gentlemen. Cause a lot of us in many instances. We kind of zone in on some mix up something mm -hmm. more time and some important things pass away. Pass us by. And then we wonder how that, mm -hmm. how that happened. Real talk. You know, we, 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 we talk about, um, um, we call it man a beat up woman and them something there, right? But there are some other things we are going right now. Whole heap of other things are going on right now where we really are playing a pay, pay a blind eye to because it is not the norm. But mm -hmm. some of them abnormal something are cool. Real talk. Yep. So mm -hmm. we have to know what's happening out there. Because there's an audio to teach our prince. <laughs> where well, no, me not get the audio. I have the, 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 the um, reading suite. Mm -hmm. We challenge everything where them teach you about earthquake and safety. Mm. Every single thing where you talk about the door, the, the, the door jam. Stand up to the door jam. Worst place. Yeah, it I think so too. Stand up um, the one about under the, the table. Them say worst place because ma the man say majority. He, he one of the man we're going to deal with the rescues. Mm hmm. Everybody get crushed under the table. Under the table. Him said there's a part when it comes to like life, triangle of life or something like mm -hmm. so. We farm beside the table. Mm -hmm. We are this so people for triangle. Don't go underneath it. Some triangle of life. Him because said, right, this what happens is, what, yeah, and I'm picturing when he said triangle because what happens is the table... Whatever falls on the, on the table, table, it tends to want to break that center point there. Right, and squeeze, and squeeze them. it down, right? But, but, so but, but, but to beside the side it, there, no. there are two triangles the, the, that are formed. The, the, there's a pocket. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're saying. You see me? So, them the readings of people, we can look up, look up somebody sitting there and try to understand what's going on. You see them like a mix up something there where we are post on social media. Important things are missed with. But more than to listen to that something here about the fall. Oh, Listen to this about the fall. Cause I have sitting by my phone right now where a man and I am forty legging up people. Me mm. send clear. Who else wants to see the forty no, leg? No, I don't want to see that one. Don't send that to me. Who wants to see the man and I am the forty leg them? No, no, no. I don't want to see that one. You're send play, me a WhatsApp. You play the fall. Yes, yeah, send you the WhatsApp. I'm send not sending you no WhatsApp. We have a caller though first before we go to that video audio. <laughs> Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night, Miss Cleo. Hi. How are you? Thank you. Good night, Julie. I'm not. Speak about it a bit more, please. We can't hear you so clearly. We come with DNT. Oh, oh, that's right, DJ. Yes, ma'am. Good night, Miss Cleo. How are you doing, darling? Good night. Good night to all your listeners. Yes. Good night to Cassidy. Right. All right. Um, Miss Cleo. Yes. I'm supposed to be a trained person. Yes. And so I am supposed to go on that door jam with the earthquake. Right. But it's clear, I, I've always said it and I've always told persons that that's the right thing to do. Yes. But when the reality... <laughs> of Real earth, talk. <laughs> so we read some something and we, 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 we are hypocrites, you know. Ah, oh boy, I tell you. Because Mr. Patel, people say, listen, when earthquake, fire the door jam, 
Yes. On the desk. Yes. And so I can tell her what happened to me now, choose again. Yes, tell us, please. I was on my desk eating my lunch to go back to court. Yes. And so when I finish eating, we feel like the table is shaking. So I said to Miss Grace, so Miss Grace, you feel that? She said, no. So I said, no, feel that? She said, no. I said, no, feel the earthquake. And so I grabbed my handbag. <laughs> and she set up, a, she get up and herself up and I do a job. Yes. You know, so I just push out shorts the way and pass. <laughs> 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 And then when me I went go upstairs, we pass what ten door jam. Everybody uh, out that door in the element, open element. Uh huh. But you know what was so frightening about this earthquake? Mm-hmm. Even while we went down the step at Juice to Beef and went out in the yard and was there, cause all of us, the earth was still literally. Yeah. Was still, was still shaking. It was still shaking. It was it's the longest earthquake oh. I've ever felt. Whoa. More so that we were there now saying, listen, you know what happened? With this kind of earthquake, tsunami is possible. Right? Mm-hmm. It's already possible. You know? Yes. Then we start to say, Bonnie View, it is a high point. Then we start to say, then oh, no, reach there. Because if we turn right, by the reach of the coronation, we have a tsunami. And if you turn <laughs> left, by the reach of the first alarm, tsunami will join you. If you try to go through the train line, if you go through Satcom, if you go through um, Funa Place and Style, you know. But I'm just saying, realistically, when we tell persons, we stand and we say, listen, in an event of so-and-so, do so-and-so, and so I mean, when the real other clubs come, do we really do that? Oh, my do gosh. Do that, do that from a human point of view? Yeah, man. True, true, true. Because I'm not telling a lie. It's one of the most friendly... You know, and if I don't feel the hurricane, like I feel the earthquake. Me too. And 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 more so that I think I'm. Me tra- me need counseling. Me traumatized. They don't even me sit down somewhere. I was at Timbamba at a meeting, and Francis, <laughs> I, I use his leg and touch it there. I'm missing up for the other end, and I'm me look here, I'm not an earthquake. Everything now to me feel like it's an earthquake. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I'm and I'm not be I'm not joking now. That is what it does to me. I, 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 it's something from a little bit. I mean, like, I feel, because I always thought of the worst. Now, finally, there was that article that somebody posted that in 2010, I think it was, an earthquake of 7.0 mm-hmm. um, struck 80, and over 2,000 had people dead. You know how blessed we are? Our oh, earthquake boy. of 7.7 strike. We are not even one final dead. So yeah. what I want to say to persons is that we must really find time to give the Almighty God thanks. Real you talk. Know, honestly, Jamaica is a blessed country. Oh, you know, yes. so the amount of things the Father God saved us from. Believe me, the known and unknown. And I really want to just tell us tonight in parting that we must look here. Oh, we are folly kind of folly kind of party and a dance and a skin out for me. Listen, people, let us find time. But, and, and we don't necessarily feel like hypocrites go for the highway and bear and go ball out and, uh, and praise and because we want the crowd to see we in our private home, in our motor vehicle, by ourselves. Let us find time for just thank the Almighty God and just ask Him for more and more mercy. Real talk. Bless you. All right. Bless you too, my sister. Me saying this up me here. <laughs> 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 I can't say that, um, Miss Kim. Yes. Um, the big of a circle, you know, say I'm a wife for life. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Jesus that stuff about hiding on that table or standing in a door jam. Well, forget it. This is a real eye opener. Yes. This is a real eye opener. Uh-huh. This is a real eye opener. 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 This Thank you very much, Chastity. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, darling. <laughs> we had a caller online. but We, we lost the caller, so we're going to invite you to call back after the audio is played. All right, caller? Thank you so much. All right, so Cassidy will play that audio for us. It's really quite clear from the standpoint of cancer and the standpoint of cardiovascular disease that animal protein plays an enormous role. Is chicken better? 
It's a question of whether you want to be shot or hung. The flesh food that I would eliminate from the American diet would be poultry, would be turkey and chicken. A brilliant advertising campaign has convinced people that, oh, it's white meat, it's healthier. The number one reason for antibiotic resistance, the number one reason little girls have menstruation at seven and eight years old, the number one reason women have menopause now ten years sooner than their moms, is because people are consuming more and more hormones that come from animals. And the animal of choice today for you yuppie, hippie, natural eaters happen to be chicken. The truth is, even though chicken flesh and turkey flesh has this reputation with select healthy meats, the truth is, it's the most unhealthy of all the flesh foods. We have about a 21% higher cardiovascular mortality rate in the, cardi in the, the black community of this country. And it really does have to do with the diet, the southern diet. And what, we really, what they really mean by that is soul food. More cholesterol, more saturated fat, not just chicken, but fried chicken. That's a combination that is set up for heart disease, kidney disease, uh, stroke, and death. When they exhumed the tissue from breast cancer, they found salmonella in almost every single specimentation that most likely came from you eating organic chicken. We sent researchers into fast food and family restaurants. Not only were there carcinogens in every single restaurant, but we found them in every single chicken sample that we took. If somebody brings their family in and they're buying a bucket of chicken, nobody tells them that there are carcinogens. If you're selling carcinogens to people, you've got to warn them that they're in there. But the American Cancer Society encourages people to switch from red and processed meat to chicken. Why would the American Cancer Society tell people to switch from eating one carcinogenic food to another when a Harvard University study showed that men with prostate cancer who eat large amounts of chicken increase their risk of the disease progressing four times? The number one dietary source in America of cholesterol is chicken because of the volume of chicken. You know, chicken's become grilled chicken and organic chicken. It's, it's machismo, but it has nearly as much cholesterol per gram as red beef. So just on sheer volume, it's the number one source. Yeah, eggs being close behind. Anytime you step out and try to push the, the frontier of truth, there's going to be pushback. And the sad fact is that, what, you know, Western physicians are Western people. And they are as addicted to these crappy diets as everybody else. And they don't want to believe that these things are unhealthy. But the science is so sound and so incontrovertible that you really can't dismiss it. But chicken and turkey and poultry dishes uh, have that reputation. Oh, it's, it's, it's healthier. It's white meat, too. Light meat. And uh, it's got this reputation, which, in truth, is completely undeserved. Uh, let's call things for what they are. The leading source of sodium in the American diet for adult is chicken. It can be labeled all natural chicken, but be injected with this salt water, having up to 800 milligrams of sodium. Heterocyclic amines are clear-cut carcinogens, and they can form in any kind of meat as it's heated, as it's cooked. But by far the biggest source is chicken. If you look at the incidence of hypertension and diabetes uh, and mortality in men, they, they actually get reduced as you uh, go higher and higher in, in terms of how much you restrict animal products. There are numerous studies linking eating chicken to many different cancers, including prostate, colon, and bladder cancers in particular. This study conducted at Harvard School of Public Health found that people who ate more than five servings of chicken without skin each week had a 52% increase in bladder cancer risk compared with those who ate none. There's nothing healthy about eating birds, uh, especially the way they're raised today, and that's another idea that should exit the stage left. We've used up the chicken and turkey, uh, and we've used up flesh eating in general. It no longer serves us. It's time for a major evolution on this whole planet to plant-based uh, diets while we still have the time to do that. And chicken and turkeys need to you know, go back to the forest of Asia where they came from. And uh, at least the chickens and turkeys are American birds. Let them, go, let them do what they used to do out in the wild there, but time to stop eating those birds. The problem with animal-based diet, its contribution to heart disease is huge and it is pervasive. All this expensive imaging, procedures, bypasses, medication, 
none of which has one solitary single thing to do with the causation of the illness. So you die of a completely benign foodborne illness that never had its causation treated. When we eat these kind of dead meat bacteria toxins, within minutes, you get this burst of inflammation within your system such that you basically paralyze your arteries. You get this stiffening of the arteries, their inability to relax normally in half. So it's not like decades down the road eating unhealthy, there'll be some damage. No, we're talking damage right then and there within minutes of it going into our mouth. Many people are given the diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease when it's not true Alzheimer's at all. The the vast majority of people suffer dementia due to their tiny blood vessels in their brain clogging up and their nerve cells being short-changed of oxygenated blood. And guess where that blood vessel dementia comes from? Those little tiny arteries are clogging up from that steady stream of that cholesterol, etc. We do not have the dental structure, we don't have the jaw mechanics, we don't have the intestinal uh, 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 structure of an omnivore or carnivore. We are classic herbivores by design and that's why for instance 90 percent of the people who die from choking every year die eating meat they're choking on meat and that's because our teeth jaw structure and uh, throat mechanism is not designed to handle this stuff if in fact human beings are omnivores meaning that we're supposed to eat both meat and plant foods why is it that eliminating the animal food from our diet makes us healthier makes us live longer reduces our our risk for developing disease. Well, it's because we really are not omnivores. We are true herbivores. We should not be eating animal food at all. At all. So, right now, I don't know where to turn. Believe you me. When me pass out a piggies and piggies full of the fowl, and the fowl smells so good. How am I not going to have a fowl? Right? I don't know what to do right now, people. I tell you the truth. No chicken. So, I just straight. Can I have pork? No. Just saying. Just, just, just wanting to know. No. I'm a porky girl, you know. Gosh. No, yeah, you, you can. What? Why? I don't know. I, I really don't know what else to do. Believe you. Nothing me. is in the pork. As far they used as we say say, um, things in the pork, I wonder if the man in the pork, you mustn't eat it. But then the pork is clean these days. That's clean. If, if, if come and fall, else. if come and fall can't work, Cassidy, because they eat all kind of things too. Yeah, they don't want to with the come and fall. I'm not like them pick out the peas out of the dog something. Is that me I say? It's now eleven o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Invite that caller to call right now. <laughs> the time back. is brought to us by VJ After Printing the break. Services. And, and Nessa is the sponsor of Real Talk. Stick around, guys. Don't go anywhere. We're soon forward. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at Eight nine three two two six six. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? We just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, huh? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and hardware. 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's. Comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight seven days per week call 715-5132 email ram to the supercenter at gmail.com remember we have the best prices in town DJ Prince just touched down in the airport. A royal date to everyone. It's showing you with the voice of DJ Prince. Your royalty of music selection. Represented for my show, your show, Detour. Every Saturday night from 8 p.m. to 12 midnight. With mixed moves and attitudes. And ladies, don't forget the special Detour hour from 11 to 12 midnight. Styles FM, the world listens. You just gotta tune in. Mm-hmm. 
guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518 518- Two three nine nine. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back to Real Talk and Lady Cleo is reviving, rejuvenating after a hard week's work. Cross country at school. Oh, oh boy. Did the cross and then go. sports day at my previous school. I stopped by. Why? I had to. No. And I wore my shirt, my green shirt. You, 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 to you, represent you for have, Greenhouse. You have abandoned. No, I have not abandoned anybody. They know yes. I'm there. I'm, you, at, I'm in two places. You left. No, I did not leave. When they needed you most. <laughs> Stop doing that. That's not <laughs> nice. <laughs> so big ups to my Greenhouse massive. And of course, the red house and, and the yellow and the blue house. You know I didn't hear? And what did the Greenhouse place? You know I didn't hear? You saw to be it. honest, I went... No, no, no. The boys won... Won the tug one, of war, one, 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 and the one, girls one. came second in the tug of war. They won but one I, event. I was, um, and if they won one event, I was drawn to volleyball, my favorite game. So I had to go across to where the court was to, to engage in some and who won physical that? act. Bad light took us. That's all I'll say <laughs> on that. But on my side, we, we did more service. Uh. Yeah, did more serving. Yes. All right. So we. I'm going to be leaving Corona. I really want to leave Corona. Corona, I feel like I want to just... Okay. Just. You want to go in the box, man? Yes, man. Okay. She's... Corona is depressing me. But before we do that, hold on, Cassie. Let's read out some of the what messages that we got on the WhatsApp relating to the issue we were discussing. All right. Donald, a.k.a. Kong, says, When America unleashes its venom on the rest of the world, who are not relevant to them or who threatens threatens them we do not talk out earthquake was because of a drilling off the coast of puerto rico and this virus is because china is threatening to overcome the rest of the world all right the views of donald there thank you donald uh who else we have online vegan eat only plants no milk, cheese, eggs. Vegan is more plant-based than vegetarian. All right. And if I don't forget my vegan diet, still in the middle of the line. Uh, Call her on the 453. Welcome, Call her. You know, I don't know if you're the right person to ask. So, but I'm going to ask still. I don't know if I can answer. But what is the government doing to go and take our students out of China? Um, they created a WhatsApp group. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's it's depressing me. I, I I might be chuckling, but I'm depressed about it. Um, what I've heard, which isn't much, is that they've made connection contact with them and trying to motivate them. I, I don't know. They want come home. Yeah, yeah. The young lady said that she tried to book a flight on her own, and the nearest flight she could get was. Actually, April. I was thirty. April. And it was thirteen thousand Chinese dollars one week. Jesus of mercy. She tried to do it on her own, and it was the the, the early slide she could get was April. And I honestly think we have a responsibility as I think so too. To find a way to go for our people, but listen now. I wanted to say to oh, you, young people, man. Meat is bad. Vegetable can be bad. Anything you have in excess can be bad. It is all about portions. Now, 
if you have too much sexy bud. Anything. anything <laughs> you sure about that one, um, DG? Positive. Anything okay, you let's have check it. It is bad. Too much of wanting, good for nothing, right? Too much of wanting, good for nothing. Now listen. All right. So you said no meat. So we're going to vegetable, all right? Mm hmm Remember, now we know. Clear. The vegetable, me and you eat. No, it's not that. Me and your grandmother used to eat, you know. Choo-choo. All kind of additives and, yeah, chemicals. Me and your grandmother never used to eat no fertilizer. Me and your grandmother used to eat no fertilizer. You know, it's, you know, so when we are talking about vegetable now, what type of it, uh, what are we talking about? And I like say, uh, we are doing something because something around the yard I eat it. Those yeah, things that they are cabbage, planting yeah, and spraying and, 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 and fertilizing, it's still bad to we. And I've seen some videos that show some, some vegetables in some shape and form and pattern and you're wondering, huh? Exactly. Things turn so what, from plastic to, to, to cabbage. So what, what, what <sighs> we learn to do now is that anything mm. that I eat, I eat small amounts of it. And then every morning I wake up and think of Bible and train. I'm a ninja. And you can't use a skin think of Bible because it, it's poisonous. It can damage your kidneys and all of that. Oh, Lord. So don't, don't eat the skin part. Eh? The little jelly part, you know. Try to find a way to take it out. Drop in your ninja, drop an orange, you know. Blend it out and drink it and try to purify it. But anything you eat in excess of. I'm not a meat lover, really. But you, 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 what is there to eat, really? Really? So I love really? Um, I just love tin mackerel. Oh, I've never eaten tin mackerel for. Mm. You understand? Yeah. I was saying that um, anything you do now, it must be portioned. He left me love command for all. But again, what, what it command for them, I eat now, still I go work out in them body. So anything you put in your mouth now, what I'm saying, in a sense, don't use your teeth and do your grave. Because somebody there, they say a man, I call a name, and I immediately don't eat when I go see him. In big. I mean, when, 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 we go, when I went where he was, he nearly done eat and he had three dumplings left in the plate. Oh, Jesus. And not that there is, you know, honestly. <laughs> and it, look at that, the person was, I mean, a big person, fat. I mean, I said, look at that, why is he doing himself that young, young, young man? Mm. So I'm just saying that anything you're doing, if you're doing Moderation anything, is good. Moderation is Real good. talk. Bless you. All right. Thank you, DG. And we do have a caller online. Charm online? Yes. Yes, Charmy. Ben Cleo. Yes. So you can't take the center room. So you know better you drink rum than beer. Here <laughs> I eat in the heat. Where you come from? Drink everywhere. Live in Africa, part of the world. You have to drink rum. Oh, boy. I, I can't manage it. I go drunk when I smell it. Then better you drink one. Just to make the junk, you know, clear your no, 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 just to make the junk. Yes, man. No. We knocked me no. over, man. My goodness. I couldn't even manage a Smirnoff ice. I can't even manage one Smirnoff. No, 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 no. Well, you have to be away from drinking. Yes, I, I do. As best I can, I do. My and if goodness. I go, if, if I go into three. Me could not bother with you, they drink PSM, you <laughs> go party. <laughs> if I go into three lemon beer, I feel a little head spinning and head light. <laughs> three lemon beer? Oh, come on. Yeah, if I reach three. My goodness. Yes, yeah, so I'm not one of those drinkers. So rum and me not going to work, none at all. You could not party. Because rum is a whole heap percentage alcohol. You have to drink me rum. Oh, yes, yeah, so man. Yeah. You're rum it like daddy road. Oh. I not drink. No, he can't drink. Yes, it might be my same thing. Oh, boy. They have to drink the rum because I live in a cold country. Well, yes, to keep the body warm. Yes, so I have to drink the rum. Sometimes they are rum, I have to drink. Jesus. Sir. Yes, yeah, yeah, man. Drink me rum. Two, three, drink, four, drink, all a flask of rum. Now we are say. I say I go and charm. Yeah. Me need a fan fusion for yeah. Shelly Bar then, man. <laughs> yeah, man, me drink me rum, man. Me drink me rum. Me not play with me rum. I mean, we drink other things. Drink me rum and drink other things, too. I'm still standing up. Now we are say, man. Things well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Drink me rum, drink other things, and still standing up. But that's how it go. Alrighty. So, 
so well, I, they can I, I, I just this they, nothing about the topic tonight about the disease or disease that No sir, on. this is not to cover at all. We're going into our topic right now. No, okay. Right, right now, my darling. <laughs> all right. Then, all right, all right, right. darling. Lisa, I tell you, in Atlanta, Georgia, says, leave out America business. Me reach. Thinking in her ears. Knows it bad. <laughs> that is what talking about. Me. All right. Let's see what our box yeah. pop says, guys. Melissa mashup. Oh, boy. Well... Hmm, let's see. The Vox Pop for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Change is constant. Time for self-evaluation. Yes? How comfortable are you with your current living conditions? How comfortable are you with your current living conditions? Whether it's a physical condition, whether it's the psychological condition, whether it's the emotional condition that you're living in. Yes? How comfortable are you with your current living conditions? Financial, whichever way. Think about how hard you're working. That is, of course, for those of us who are working. And, of course, working can have a different meaning because there are some people who work and there are some people who are always working. Yeah. So have your own interpretation, right? But think about how hard you work. So whatever your work is, think of how hard you do it. Are your goals being met? And what do you think you could do to improve on how you're living? Hmm. So what can you do to improve on how you're living. And again, living as it relates to your physical state of living, emotional, psychological, even spiritual. How you're living. It's not just limiting it to the physical, whether your house big up on a hillside, three floors or two floor under the cellar or whatever. How you're living, your state of mind, your state of being. Right? Consider who your associates are who do you relate to on a daily basis who do you associate yourself with who are the people in your corner in your court in your surroundings do you think they best and i did not say they fit it good or you know if them all right now all right do you think they best fit your achievement projections where you want to go in life, what you want to achieve. If you have goals and dreams and aspirations and vision, you envision anything for yourself or you want to achieve. How do these people that are around you, the people you associate with, how do they best fit into your achievement projections? Or are they making you lag behind? They might drag you down. They might uplift you. Yeah. They're helping to deter you and detour you from where you're really, really heading. And these are some of the questions I want adults to ask the children, the young people that they have in their lives, the, the, the children that they are raising. Because some of the times, you know, mm -hmm. believe it or not, the youngsters in high school, parents, your children have some associates too. Where you... You don't even know about them, some of them. And some you do know about, right? And if your children can't really talk to you, you know, and relate to you certain ways, you know, you'll never know who their associates are. And it's always important for parents to know who their teenage children are associating with because these people, depending on who they are, can either fit their achievement projections or help them to drag and lag behind. And usually, when that starts to happen, you see, the lagging behind starts, your picnic end up in the problems, and the one who drag them down into the gutter, escape and go about them business, go and do some other, some, other, some other deed somewhere. Right? So it's important that as adults, we assess ourselves too, and evaluate who we power the daytime, who can call my phone 24 7 and get me and just start chat people business and so 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 and blah 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 and start talk all kind of something when I edify me now uplift me who does that 
Do I allow people in my life to do this? Do I associate myself with criminals? With people who just walk and tee people things over the line? Tee tea for the farm where the fruit are then grown? Do I associate with these kind of people? Yeah? Who do you associate with? It's very, very important. The man from the corner every day, they got him and me and walk and beg a thing, beg a thing, no? And he just said so. And him sisters just said so, and I'm on. <laughs> Who do you associate with? So, this is the Vox Pop for tonight. A very, very serious one. Because sometimes some people, you know, take things for granted and look beyond the fact that the people around you are the ones sometimes who are really, really not even helping you. I'm going, I'm going to tell you something about self-evaluation. Some of the times, it is you mm -hmm. who arbor certain things unto yourself. Real talk. Real talk. So, is this Vox Pop is about looking within and for persons to kind of start to ask yourself the question, what am I doing? Real talk. Right? A lot of persons aren't doing that. You know, some persons are in very uncomfortable situations and feel as if they can't do without. Mm -hmm. True. But if they really look into it, is this where if is is where I'm um, where I really, really had planned to be. planned to be or want to be. Yeah. When 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 I were sixteen and I and, and my dreams was becoming a X, Y, whatever Z. Am I there? Mm. If the answer is no, ask again. Why am I not, not here? There or heading or there. towards there, yeah. And be real to yourself because the moment you start to be untrue to yourself and Denial. start even to find other people and find fault and, to, blame. and, and, and blame and uh -huh. find excuses, yep. You're gonna, hopefully, you are strong enough to say, I am the problem. Problem, real talk, All right? Real so, talk. How comfortable are you with your current living conditions? Now, that question is so, so important. And as you just alluded, many people never really stop to ask themselves or to even answer the question. Answer the question. Sometimes they might even ask yes. or, or they'll say to themselves, you me know, all right. me, me, yeah, me all right. living I, in denial and yeah, telling man. yourself you're okay. Me good man, everything good but man. deep down, because nobody knows your heart better than you do and your thoughts. And you know, say, boy, you know, I'm not comfortable with you. But it's like pride and ego sometimes make some people. And I tell you something. Just hard to say that they're not. Sometimes persons don't really realize that they are comfortable or believe that they are comfortable because they are within a comfort zone. zone. Yeah. A right? whole different thing. Yeah. Whole different thing. Because more time persons don't want to move from beyond the, or the even zone. to challenge yeah. the status quo. Yeah. They want things to remain the same, not enough to change. And which is why we say change is constant. Mm -hmm. Only and, thing, and, and constant use, is um, change. Recording artists as a prime example. Mm -hmm. Artists hot today and you never know him before tomorrow. And it happens, it's a cycle. Right? Today, coffee are the hottest thing. Mm-hmm. Right? A few years from now, she won't be. Mm -hmm. And it is just the way things are. And maybe at present, everyone would want things to remain the same. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. So it's all about where are you with your life? You know, are you comfortable? Persons who left from Jamaica and fly out Ghana foreign, right? For better. Or no better? Or no comfortable? Yes, no. The cool on the inner, is it better than the one where we don't have inner? I make less? Yes, no. Right? Which one make you comfortable? Is it because you can probably um, do the remittance and send money here to probably somebody who now walk? <laughs> and them comfortable because you are working for them. Mm. You're providing for them. How comfortable are you? Can you send your money to Jamaica um, to buy a piece of land? And build one house, and you're sure say it's a good bill? Are you ha do you have to do two jobs, three jobs to make ends meet? One job to pay the bill, and one next job to pay your rent? Are you a mortgage? It, 
are you comfortable? Would you be actually better off being here, earning less, but probably can get an NHT loan? But then, now, Daddy Road, there are persons who will tell you that I would have preferred, physically speaking or emotionally speaking, yes. this. But when I look at the longer term and the broader picture, right. earning the financial resources yes. is where my priority is. And so I'll, I'm willing to give up, give up. this right. for that. For that. So it's based on, on their priorities, I guess. Right. You know? So hands down, persons who migrate going to earn more. Mm -hmm. But is your cost of living better? Better. Is it, do you have a, experience a higher cost of living? Because the reality, you know, is the opportunities that, that are there, you know, mm -hmm. is by far, by far, far better. Mm -hmm. You can't have a country with nurses and teachers and you, and you want to pay them where you pay them and police officers and pay them where you pay them and expect to retain mm -hmm. um, committed staff. Mm -hmm. No. Sure. People of the cost of flour or the rate of, the, 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 the rate of inflation is more than the rate at which a man's salary increase. Mm -hmm. It can't work. And that's why the teachers and Look nurses who are going away, do you find that the situations there Does are not more intriguing in terms of like your pension and so on, you know? But they're, they they're can see where, right, they can see where they can save this a money lot of persons, and bring back. I, I, I know of persons who leave as teacher and within a year, them able to can afford things where they probably could have never, never mm -hmm. afforded within a decade. Mm -hmm. But they guess what now? They miss yard. Mm -hmm. Bad, bad, bad too. They miss, they miss yard. So are you comfortable mm. in your present situation? Now, how many persons who are actually working in a reasonable job with a reasonable title that people would look up to, but you can barely make ends meet? Mm. Is it that persons are living above their means? Or is it that the means are just <laughs> too difficult to achieve? Because you can't put, say, KFC, if you argue, say, fast food restaurant mm -hmm. in, a, in, in a community. But at the same time, the economy of the community can't really afford it without them have to sacrifice the tin mackerel. Mm -hmm. So you can buy the KFC today. You know? But tomorrow, you can't buy the tin mackerel. <laughs> but you could have, the money you take by the KFC, you can buy three tin mackerel. One for today, one for mm -hmm. tomorrow, and one for the day after that. But you present persons options mm -hmm. of an escalator. Because nobody the time, I can tell you, the, the, the perception is, yo, if you have a box, a KFC, you feel rich. <laughs> really? It's a perception of foreign food. <laughs> really? Right? <laughs> you have a box of that, you feel like a boy, yo, a death or you're there. Mm. Then why you think enough of the time when you got town, back in the days before there, so people say, bring back one box of that for me. <laughs> you ever thought about it? No. Okay. There's something in the recipe that holds them. <laughs> <laughs> no comment here, you know. <laughs> Something in that chicken, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I mean, are you earning? No. Right. That's, that's <laughs> the question. Don't you want to finish your sentence? Right. No. Right. Are you earning enough? No. No, you have to do gigs, mm -hmm. right? Forget add your add on and your earning. Mm -hmm. You still have to be a photographer, a videographer, all, all stuff mm -hmm. with his talent. Yep. Now, if Cassie get a job where I pay him $3 million a year, would Cassie still be comfortable? You see, with more money, your, your, your way of life changes and again your demands become greater becomes and greater. your expenditure becomes greater right so you find that you will never probably ever be comfortable right. really and, and, and i'm happy, or, happy 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 that you went that road because 
in my own self evaluation mm -hmm. right I said to myself say I'm gonna start to compare myself with other persons who I know who were for them where the call them earning mm -hmm. isn't as much but personally them don't look half as stressed as I am <laughs> With because the more money, more problems more you problems. have. <laughs> right? So, when you look at what really real happiness is, you know, which is why it was say, It's not defined by what you have. Yeah, it's not defined by what you, you have. It's your state of mind. Right. How comfortable are you in your present living condition? Because I can tell you, it's enough people who... I live for the day. Mm -hmm. Up them, here? Them, in a for them own way, them comfortable. Me, I have to start, me have to plan for like four, five, six months <laughs> today. Because me not so sure in my mind the uncertainty of tomorrow. It don't rest well with me. Mm -hmm. But the next bridge, you know, him can kick back and just say, yo, more eat a, more want a food today, you know. Mm -hmm. And him go whether him go beggy, whether whether him go cut one yard, whether him go whatever him go do, fi get it that day there. <laughs> yeah. Fi that day, mm -hmm. and then tomorrow, and for pretty much, yeah, with it tomorrow. pretty much that a theme job. Tomorrow take care of itself. Mm -hmm. You have a lot mm -hmm. of persons who who have by the that day. Mm -hmm. notion True. that tomorrow will take care of, of itself. itself. And in many cases, person with that notion, are you who a plan for six and three months ahead, I take care of them today. <laughs> you are the source of their today. <laughs> and then can link can say, boy, lady clear. Beg a hundred dollars. And lady clear does have a hundred dollars in her purse. Mm -hmm. But did you leave your home with expectation for him on your mind? Mm -hmm. We'll take you out and give him. Who are living yeah. today and happier. Sometimes they are. Not getting grazed in the places that you are getting grazed mm. in. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 11 no. 30. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that thought hit me just now. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk, boy, 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 is sponsored by Native Old. Nate Nessala. We we'll we'll soon come back. We'll come back. No, no grazer on there too. <laughs> Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Business operators, local and overseas, this announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876 518 2399. Styles FM, the world listens. <laughs> <laughs> Your Saturdays will never be the same again. 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Styles FM. Get the showdown. Social commentary. Tune, no, tune. No, 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 no. E-Edge, your love with love song. Oh, happening. 
Come to Aiken Auto Technology, located at 33 Bombo Crescent, Port Antonio, Jamaica. We offer specialist services in wheel alignment and wheel balancing, brake drum and disc rotary servicing, state-of-the-art ultrasonic cleaning and testing of your fuel injectors. We also stock an assorted range of auto service parts, tires and motorcraft batteries. If we don't have it, we will source it for you. Call us at 876 715-5205 or email AconAutoTech16 at gmail.com Acon Auto Technology beyond the typical auto mechanic shop Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale then? Come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back to the show, guys. Um, good to have you still with us. If you're just joining us, welcome. We are on our Vox Pop. And, of course, Gary in New Jersey says, Yes, Miss Cleo and Daddy Rude, I'm comfortable. But is anyone ever comfortable with what they have? Really and truly. There are people who are contented, but then there are some who will say, you know, there can be improvement. But then there are others, too, who just really complain about everything because they're really, really miserable. Yeah, it happens in relationships. It happens in the workplace. It happens in the homes. People are sometimes really and truly just not comfortable. And mark you, there are people who will be uncomfortable but not on a major level where they complain and say why well, i can't live so no more they're comfy in a sense where they you know they're managing and they're okay with where they're at but it's just that things can be better because yeah. there's always room for improvement but then there are others who really and truly know that they're not comfortable at all at all at all but they're still just going with it tell us something you have some big man out there, big woman out there. And when I say big man, big woman, I talk about 18 and over. But it starts from even before that, because if you say from you are 14, you kind of have some certain level, a big man and big woman thoughts in your mind. Mm. And saying that to say this, you have some big man and big woman out there who are of the view that other people feel care for them. Mm-hmm. Them not working. Mm. Enough people never work from them born. But them I get money. I don't know. Them come by money. And I hold right? a holy puppet sometimes too. Of course. No, and 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 you you, you wonder how them feel in themselves to come to you and say they yo. Don't care. They're alright, they're not business. They're not business. Once they get what they want. They don't care. Then gone. Not for the time me there, so I'm going to need some help. And, and somebody, able body person. They never offer. They never offer for help. And then watch you mm -hmm. lift up this, lift up that, hammer up this, do that, this, uh, and then sit down right there. But yet still, I'm just gonna your pocket and get them where you work hard for. Where you work hard for. Them appear to me to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. Comfy, comfy, comfy as comfy can be. Mm -hmm. So 
I don't know people, if, 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 if I may have the concept wrong about, about how to provide for, you know, or how them say, once you, 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 you have a family, you have a responsibility and the things that <laughs> you're supposed to do as a, what do you call it now? What do you say? A real man? Yes, man, real man. Call it call, as it is, yeah. Real man take care <laughs> of them family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Without uh, apology. I'm planned for each day. Yes, man. No, well, and every, for the well, well, six well, months too. Every day take care of itself? No, not really. But you analyze as best you can how you can make things better for your family no, and yourself. You have, you, you have a child coming up, right? And you know, say, the pity of go to school tomorrow. And you have that state of mind say, every day take care of itself. You know, it, it, it happens. Mm -hmm. It does, because to be honest with you, the other day we had an event at school where the infant department, they were going out. And they would have gotten prior notice that the children were going out. And parents would have sent the children out without a little without. snack. Come on now. Caller on the 453. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. We lost the caller. Call right back, please. Uh, 453 1444. Yeah, you don't send a child out, a baby. A baby no, out. No, you. Without. No. You responsible. The, the picnic come at school. Call. I, 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 All I, them suck, suck me. I know. Call her on the 453. Good night, call her. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night, Lily Pia. How are you doing, darling? Daddy Road. Oi. I'm doing good. Yes. As there is a topic about big woman, you are so true. You have some big woman on the seat. And, can, can I turn off the radio, please? Turn the radio off, please. It's echoing, all right? <laughs> yes. You just sit and depend on people. Mm -hmm. I have five children. They are taking care of me now. But I go out and work same way. Yes. I work same way because I don't depend on them for everything. Because they have the children to send to school. They have children to send to college, university. And I don't just sit and wait on them. I just go sometimes and say to me, Mom, you can't sit down. I said, why must I sit down and you have the children to go to school? Nothing done wrong with me, don't sick, me not have no pain, me not have nothing. Mm -hmm. So we go out and work for myself too. Yep. Real talk. Yeah, you have some of the big women that sit down, not doing anything, and think the children must give them everything. And I want to say something. Some of them big, crafty, austerian women sit at home, do nothing, and send even their children out. Yes. The young pick oh, them. Yeah. The 12-year-old, 13, 14, 16, send them out to fend for them. And you know what you know what I mean, right? I don't know what I mean. I know, I know what you mean. Trust me, man, it's you pathetic. Understand? Sometimes when you hear the children, them how much one of them collect and who they this and who they that, it's a shame. Mm -hmm. It's a shame. And my mother washed clothes and cleaned house and sent us to school oh, for really? years. That was her job, pretty much. So I don't know what them fish them too hot and them can't go wash exactly. two clothes too and high and some clothes and clean some house. Okay. Lady Leo, can I, I'm not ashamed. I do domestic work. I work in Banana Board when it was there. I work at Sugar Estate when it's there just to send my children to school. Real talk. So sometimes the big woman, them little sit and they don't do anything. But when you work for your children, yeah, I understand. They can remember so well that my mom or my dad worked for me. So it's my time to repeat them. But not still sit down and wait for them. True, no. man. True, true. Sometimes I see some children in the road. They are begging. They are doing all kind of things. I say, oh, good God, man. Mm -hmm. what, what parents teaching children nowadays? Real talk. Because in my days, I couldn't go on the street and beg anything. No, my sir. mother and my father would kill me. Mm-mm. And if I get anything on the street, I will tell them who I get it from and who said to you, say, can you have this or whatever? I have to talk. Because if I don't talk, who I get it from, I get some beaten. Mm -hmm. These children nowadays, so they need to drug up. The government talking about children not to get beaten. Them children need some beaten, lady kill. Real talk. They need some. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Because if you read up in the children, if you go to the street and listen to some girl children, have on a uniform at top, oh man, and all this up there. Mm. Lady Kill, I'm not perfect, but if one of my children ever go up and do that, 
the station picked me up. <laughs> the big woman, they need to go to work. And the men, too. The young yep. boys, them, them, them want something from the young boys. And I don't want, know what's wrong with them. I don't know what's wrong with them. Real talk. And that is in my view tonight. They need to get up and go work for two. Real talk, mama. I know myself. I've been working. That's I think we lost her there. Yes. All right. Thank you so much for your call, my lady, and your sh your ideas for sharing with us tonight. Sure. Um, how comfortable are you with your current living conditions? Uh, think about how hard you're working, are your goals being met, and what do you think you could do to improve on how you're living? Hmm. All right. So there are persons who might be saying, well, you know, what I'm doing is not what I want to do. Right. But really and truly, how are you trying to improve on that? Exactly. If it requires you getting a skill, improving your skill, and persons will say, boy, I take money to learn a skill. Right. Not in all cases, you know. You can go, if you love carpentry and you're not working, find somebody who's a carpenter who's good at his trade and, and let him just sit and watch and observe. I'm going to show you something. You know, learn something, welding. Um, electrician, but then we'll learn a thing or two, and you can know from there the heart is always there. Let me, sh let me show you something. Heart trust, come on. Me have, a, me, have a, me, me have a friend, right? And she she resigned from her employment, her mm -hmm. distinguished and esteemed job. job. And she called me up one day and she said to me, Say, boy, you well. I made sixteen thousand dollars today. Mm -mm. How much did you make? Ooh, la la! <laughs> now, wow. Now, this person does um, lashes. What? Right? You know the pretty lash them. The one. Oh them. yeah, the long one them. The one we, no, the one we put on the one one strand. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. So move from. A study, mm -hmm. university study, mm -hmm. overseas study, mm -hmm. degree, and now doing something that she loves. Mm -hmm. Pretty much that's like art. Oh, yeah. And looking at her salary, what she would make for the month, working 20 mm -hmm. days for the month, compared to what she made in a day. Look here, man. The nail techs. The hairstylist. Right. Good God. No, more people listen to what we are telling us. You know? Right? There's nothing wrong with exploring a talent. If you have a job, open one shop to. Real talk. Right? Buy your skill, get the necessary. Um, we call it now registration done with tax office and whatever you need to do, and you call yourself whatever corner shop. Mm -hmm. And you go buy your old sales things them, and you come sell it. Because if I that you have to do, and a long time here people have said, boy, no money now make a market, but a, but a, but a long time people in a market are market full. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pit nigga on a college, oh ton oh, doctor, yes. ton la oh no ton doctor, ton liar. And when when, when pit ton doctor and liar, mama still in a market. Mm -hmm. Them say not now go on for craft market and craft market ever have vendors. And goods. And goods. <laughs> so since not now go on, and no people and look down on mm -hmm. those persons. I don't. Right? Because oh. Me and I go sell in the market. Me and I go, me and I go that. But them, them are business people, self-employed people. Mm -hmm. With a lot of credentials known as how to make a living. Them have that credential. Mm -hmm. Enough people, no one fi take that risk of being them own say, boss. Mm -hmm. But and the again, 95 so, sometimes just don't make it like how them, them people they make it exactly. It's just a certainty, you know, what 95 gives mm -hmm. the certainty. But what I'm saying, persons look into yourself, 
and ask yourself with an introspect. Yep. What can I do to improve? So if it means that you're going to keep your job, but yet still you're going to double in or something else, one little talent. Right? I know next sister now, she have a good job to esteem again. And guess what she like? Makeup. Mm -hmm. So she go study and get her diploma in a that. And the rest is what? It's she. Phone call. Call her on the 954. Good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night, Cleo. How are you doing? I'm not bad. How are you, Marvin? <clears throat> I'm good here, too. You're sick? You get the um, flu shot. <laughs> now, nah, I have bronchitis. I don't know they're going to have flu, so. Yeah, boy? Bronchitis. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I ask my man, they like me. Bronchitis and what else? Did you say you have blue what? And, and the flu. <laughs> bronchitis and blue what? I heard blue. When I said no blue, not my girl. Blue, blue what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm okay. I have bronchitis and then I have flu. Oh, flu! I thought you said blue something. I'm sorry. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> okay, I have a blue something on your mind. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was wondering what he's saying. Um, um, I remember back in the days in when the growing up in Jamaica, when my grandmother had to do little stuff to send me to school, like bake little cookies and sell them. You know, um. So like a cell phone, all these things. Yeah. And I think nowadays that, you know, I guess now it's modern times, so everybody has it more freely. So everybody, oh, my mom and dad, they're friends. I can get this, I can get that. They don't really have to go to what we had to go to back then. Because, you know, back then we didn't no, really have no game. We have to be up there making those boxes with the, you know what I mean, them little cars with the boxes and the orange wheel and mm -hmm. all the kind of stuff. That was our first back in the days. But now everybody's, you know what I mean, it's just more modern, everybody's computer and game and all this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and as far as, am I comfortable? No, because I'm always kind of deep for the sky. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I, there's, there's a lot more I can do. And I mean, of course, just doing it, which is, Number one, go back to school. You know what I mean? Get a couple more, more subjects and I'll be good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Look at my brother. My brother is a... Um, back then he was a CNA. Now he, he owns his own um, CNA business. And I used to go to work with him and he used to show me how to do a lot of stuff. And like now, it's easy for me to do because what? I used to go to work with him back in the days. I know, you know what I mean? I know... A lot of, I had to do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. and right. When I did my course, I, I passed it with flying colors, and there was one during home, and I'm like, yeah, because this is something that I've been through before. You know, I mean, I didn't know how to do because I used to do it with my brother. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know what I mean? But <clears throat> I just, I don't, a lot of people, with this, uh, even this easy money thing, like, I can't, I even say people try to get me to do it, and I'm like, yo, like, I like nice things. Like my iPhone that I have, you know, that phone cost me almost fifteen hundred dollars. But it's because I know I want it, I put in extra work. You know yeah. what I mean? I put in extra hours to get the money to get what I want. You know what I mean? Not no, not no easy stuff. You know what I mean? I've, pretty much everything I got, I make sure I work hard for it. Mm -hmm. I never seen my mother doing nothing easy. I never seen my dad doing nothing easy. My grandmother wasn't doing nothing easy. It was always work, 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 work. You know what I mean? Yeah. And even when I, even when I came up here and um, I was still in my teens, and I said to my dad, like, hey, you know, can I get twenty dollars to go to the movies with my with my schoolmate? And he wouldn't give it to me just like that. I had to do stuff around the house. You know what I mean? Hold <laughs> the line, watch his car out. Yeah. Yes. I had to do something for it. I wouldn't just get it just like that. Mm-hmm. And Real I, talk. I think a lot of people need to train their kids in that same way, you know what I mean? Instead of giving and giving, 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 because they can afford True. It. You know what I mean? Yeah, I have make them learn how to... Yeah, to work for what they mean. really want, yes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I know people right now, you know what I mean? Even a girl that's living here, she got a daughter. And this girl is five years old. Mm -hmm. Why is this girl having a Louis Vuitton purse that costs over two, three thousand US dollars? That don't what? make sense to me. 
five years old. You don't need a you don't need a Louis Vuitton purse. You don't need an iPhone. You don't what? need red bottom shoes. You don't need can't buy a Louis Vuitton right now. <laughs> but you see, you see, you see, because they have, they have the easy money. You know what I mean? The mm-hmm. people them big in that era, so them feel oh. My my daughter gonna look fly at all times and this and that mm-hmm. and other. I'm gonna look fly and with you. It makes no sense because that child is never gonna know how to work. For things yeah, for about. what she oh, wants. My mommy and daddy always give me this and daddy always give me I mean, that. daddy and mommy can't yeah, give daddy. it. Somebody else will give it. Exactly. You know. You know what I mean? But I don't know this 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 younger generation. Oh is, gosh. Is, they got up all, all, all messed up. All They're in a things. class all by themselves, my dear. Yep. Yep. <laughs> all right, Marvin, thanks all so right. much. Cool. Okay. Um, one of the things I want to say, Daddy Road, is that if people, adults on a whole, and they, in, in it by extension, if they were to help their children, their younger children, teenage children and so on, to, to tap into what it is that they love to do and start learning a skill. Right. You know, and adults who, some of you will say, oh, I don't have no skills, I don't have no talent. You never know. What do you really like to do? Figure out what you like to do. Assess yourself, do your introspection. What do I love to do? What gives me pleasure? What gives me fun? But you know. Yeah, and what... find a way to tap into that so you can learn how to master and, you know, um, well, master that craft so you can utilize I, it as a I, viable means of earning. I remember my my um my grandmother, right? Um, Daddy Styles' mother, Adasa, mm-hmm. right? She was a craft vendor. Them time the cruise ship used to used to come out the, mm-hmm. the pier, so she used to make um straw bag, straw hat, all mm-hmm. of them something there, the little beads something them, right? And she was them um sell ice. Mm-hmm. Wow. But the but, um what twenty cent ice, fifty cent ice. Remember when when when, when grandma used to make them something. My grandfather now used to work at um I think a CIBC the name at the time. As a messenger. Mm-hmm. Wow. Right? And daddy styles. Right? Then my mother now, uh mother, mother granny, she was a domestic helper. Mm-hmm. Right, and my grandfather now by which our mommy father now he mm-hmm. did one carpenter, mm-hmm. seeing. So at the will, uh, everybody now to make the generation improve. Mm-hmm. So I think one of the first ones them now out of the camp really which a college I like my auntie now, auntie 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 Grace White Kids Pharmacy. You have Auntie Marie too. She a pharmacist too. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, you have Colleen. She did got a case. Then you have me. Right? My brother. And then the cousins them start. You see me? So you have now those who not really necessarily want to move from where they are and live like complacency. Mm-hmm. Then, may I say that for say, even though you might start far from a humble beginning. You can move from Amen. that. Amen. But you must always remember one thing. Be humble. Mm-hmm. Be kind to people. True to yourself. Yeah. True to yourself. Because you have a lot of persons out there, I can tell they you. Lose themselves when they start right? going up the ladder. Don't only lose themselves. When they start going up the ladder, them have people dragging them down yep. who don't want to see them elevate. And that is where the association, who you associate yourself with. Real talk. Good night, caller. <laughs> Daddy Road. You. You left out on to my kingdom, man. Ah. I'm a bitch in that life. You can bet. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah, man, you left out March, you know, CIBC again. Again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true, man. true, true. Your grandfather true. then. Uh, March, and the toots. Yeah. yeah, man. The entire family, man, who grew up together, man. Madly. Enough, enough respect for the entire Jackson family, you see, man? Cool, no? All right. Give thanks. All righty. 
Um, let's see, see who's on our text line there. Yeah, South Carolina. South Carolina. Marcia, Marcia says she fell asleep, knock her out, you know, sleep, knock her out, but she woke up to hear the discussion. And she said, of course, those who walk and make money like that, not getting my money, only if them unable or, you know, disabled and sick or really elderly persons. Yeah? True. And she says we need to find our purpose. Real, Real talk. Find what you love to do, what, it, what gives you pleasure, man. True. Because it is said that... If you enjoy what you're doing, Listen, you never have to work a day in your life. Me, 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 me tell my sister, you know, say, yo, my girl, to all me see you move are great things we expect from you. Real right? talk. And the amount of sitting, the people resign, left the, left the work in a December. Mm-hmm. Right? And right now, she practically didn't even have hand. But it's now, she would have realized the demand mm-hmm. that there was for her talent. Talent, real talk. 413 says, Blessing, love, daddy rule, rude, and stars team. I have resigned my distinguished job in Jamaica and migrated to the USA for a better life. And what I am making in a week is what I was making in Jamaica in right, a month. Definitely. But the only thing is I have to brave the cold yep. and the snow yep. and rain to earn that. So life is better here, but not comfortable. comfortable. Ken from out of Massachusetts. I'm enjoying tonight's program. Good to know, Ken. Good to know. Big up yourself, Ken. All right. Hey, one, one day if Ken and one of them smarty there where, where, where got a place where, they, where they, all you can eat lobster place. <laughs> hey, and I the lobster them. Hey, Mrs. Woman Thieves on lobster. I said, Jesus. Let's please. see what Gary me never in... want. Me never want to associate myself, but. Oh, we, we read. <laughs> we read Gary's already. Let's see what's his online there. Not everyone who migrates makes more. That is true, too. True. That is true, true too. Because some leave their jobs here no, me that, me that were paying better, but then they, they, they go you. for... In, in, in my belief, mm-hmm. I know so they can't make more. The plan was to migrate because, you know... Land to, of to opportunity. opportunity. But yeah. the, opportunity, the opportunity is Probably there, you know, but guess what? Itself. No. They have not felt what what we would have been here and see at the flaccid. So mm-hmm. you want to go foreign, but no, you, you reach foreign, but then no complacency take over. And sometimes opportunity right? does not come the way so it's all, come. So it's all about going there and moving from there. So to yeah. study, do whatever you need to do. Do, to, to climb. Call. Yeah, real talk. Welcome to the show, guys. You're on air. I put a quick question to you on Daddy Road, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, you as far as person not living in the States, you know, they're working hard, you gotta make any meat and whatever not. And you have a family member back in Jamaica that said, Okay, send send them a thing. Yeah. And show them the side that yo, you know, I understand so you may need it, but what you need it for at that present time is not is not really important. And because they tell them that them show you bad vibes and have a bunch of stuff to say. All the better. So then we start big. I mean um, because, Ma- Marvin, because, I mean, I've been in the situation. Eh? My, 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 um, cause my recommendation is give them the opportunity to come up. <laughs> uh, you see me? So they can see for themselves. No, then can come experience when you are experiencing when, when them over there and people down a yard want things from them. <laughs> and then you don't hear from them when they reach up there, you know. Listen, a lot of persons get. Culture shock. Oh, yeah. When them touch foreign. Because yeah. them feels that everything there. The better road is yeah. this. And you just walk and pick up things because it is their line in the streets. When them get that yeah, opportunity, you know. knowing a brother, me can't tell you. Yeah. Me can't but tell you. Man. So, I have come that will ask. They were like, hey, you can't send me a thing. And I'm like, yo, you know what I mean? I got responsibility here also. And right, like right now, I'm like sick. I even have a fever. And I still have to go to work. Go like work. What, because in America, if you don't work, you don't get paid. And I still, I still have to go to work. You know what I mean? I work that I'm a manager. I have to be at the store. Yeah. You know what I mean? And when you show them about that, hey, you know, see, you know what I mean? You want me for work, and then you want money to go go to a party. Like, what does that make? I can't see if you want to pay like a bill or get something. But you hey. don't money come here. Party, <laughs> party. <laughs> wow. Hey, hey, hey Marvin. <laughs> yeah. M- remember our brethren. Um, Ambitious. But many years ago. 
the Virgin used to work a foot locker. And because he work a foot locker, everybody, including myself, just feels the boy him have access to cheap shoes. <laughs> Mm. No shoes because him work at Foot Locker. No, you yeah, watch MTV and BT and you see Foot Locker advertise and you have a virgin who work at Foot Locker. Oh you my expect God. Pick, forget shoes. that virgin. Yeah. Get ah. shoes. Easy, easy. <laughs> Get so, shoes like you know, one, two, three. Is the, is the whole perception. But you see, once you start experience it for yourself and use a means that got Foot Locker, I realize the boy, them said to you, the boy, um, let the cashier know that um, Ken helped you out. It means that Ken I get commission. Half of uh -huh. the sale, so you know as yep. you know it, it as glamorous. So when you, when yeah. people start gaining that knowledge of the reality, then the whole view will change. Yep. Yeah, and and then you try to explain to them like, yo, it's not like some now I send it come give you or whatever. But if if you say if you say okay, you need to pay a bill or you want money to go work or school, then I would even make this sacrifice and say, all right, me go give this or me give that. But to go party like no, that, go work your own money for go party, man. Dollar. Real thing, yeah, huh? They need to go and work their own money to go to party. Yeah, I mean like that. That, that makes no sense. You know what I mean? You want to go party? You, you don't have the money to go stay home. Stay home, exactly. It, it, it's that simple. Real but talk. The fun is how or they make your friend them think that hey, yeah, you have people foreign and them can give you this and this bragging thing, and it it, it never works. Real like talk. Gonna stop. Real talk. <laughs> All right. All right, Marvin. K says, Freedom's your love, Daddy Road. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 413 says, A survey was done in December of last year where it was discovered that 90% of Americans go to work sick because we have to. Mm -mm. Wow. Hmm. And that's the truth, because yeah. if, if you don't work, you don't get paid. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that, that is just how the system is there. You get, you get paid per hour, and that's final. If you didn't work within that hour, or you clock out early, you're going to get paid for when you get What you work for. Right. Mm, real talk. Consider who your associates are. We're out of time, guys. But do you think they best fit your achievement projections, or are they making you lag behind so you got to do that introspection and see who it is that you have around you and find people be around people who can motivate you to be better than what you are and to to achieve more than mm -hmm. where you are now yeah elevate yourselves be around people who will drag you up the ladder with them and not those who are static and will want to pull you down. Because there are some people who don't just really, really bad mind. And when they see you going up, they say, oh, what can I do to just hold her back or hold him back? You got to be smart. Yeah? You got to not see everybody who smiles with you as a friend necessarily. Because not everybody who does that is really, really with you. So you got to be smart in choosing your friends, choosing your associates. Because sometimes, as I say... They sometimes lead you astray. You end up in the problem. And you get what, get what the dog get. And then get to scotch free. So you got to know who you are mingling with. And in every way possible, assess, assess them psychologically. In psycho evaluate them. Yeah? And see how best they are for you and for yep. what you want to achieve. South Carolina um, says... Hey, Daddy Road, I have been braving the ice and cold all week, and I am just recovering from the flu. A rough man. Rain and 30 degrees all day today and still had to go to school wow. because only two-day personal leave we are a leave. We are allowed. Oh, my God. What is this on the text line quickly, Cassidy? Let's get those messages out if we have other persons responding. Um, Cleo, I know the definition of bad mind. <laughs> Open it on. Let me see if it's Daddy Root, you say. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I know, th I know the definition of bad mind. Oh, is that a road? Yes. Okay, so bad mind means that a road. Okay. Um, what is this, dear Cassidy? I think we're out of time, though. We are well out of time. <laughs> um, well, Daddy Root might have bad mind, but UL Jackson has none. Well, none whatsoever. All right. Um, pretty much that's it, Cassidy. 
for the messages. And guys, we are absolutely out of time tonight. It's uh, about seven minutes past the hour of 12 o'clock. And of course, I want to say thank you for being here with us, for keeping our company. And we trust that it was a pleasure for you half as much as it was our pleasure to serve you tonight. So on behalf of our engineer, Cassidy, and my co-host, Daddy Rude, Lady Cleo signing out. We're signing out until next time. And remember... Be around the positive people, them, the roots, them, who will help you to hold firm, yeah, and go somewhere in life. And not the branches who go and break off or the leaves who go and blow away. Yeah, real talk. Until next time, that is rude. Big up my wife, life, and my pity them. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Styles FM, you're my number one.